and uh, welcome everybody, Cyberfire Squadrons, let's go! I do have to say, they actually started the draft before they did the lobby because of uh, reasons. Uh, well, it is what it is. So, uh, let's actually follow up on uh, what's going on over here. Hello, there's Bonsoir Sisi Paro, how are you doing, Monsieur, tonight? All Triangle, good evening, sir, and welcome. No, we're not actually going to use the Beta BBG uh, 5.4. I understand there are quite a few issues there that are going to get recoded or I should say changed in the upcoming version of the Beta. Spoon, good evening, sir, and welcome. Good afternoon, I should say. Yeah, bonsoir, monsieur, and Sasso. How are you doing? I need Dave. Thank you so much for picking up that first promotion over there. Good morning, sir. And uh, I was, uh, yeah, well, I do hope uh, you guys enjoyed the, the new intro over there at the beginning. And uh, hopefully, I'm actually gonna uh, get this uh, going sooner rather than later. I don't know. I just felt like a change, you know, need for change. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta change something. Uh, also, Yorkshire Brit, hello there sir and um thank you so much for the feedback over there project cisco good evening sir i'm not sure if you can be a vip and a mod at the same time mm, we're gonna need to ask twitch about that uh, also uh, rodri good evening sir and welcome looks like uh, we do have uh, two game uh, two bands uh, by default in uh, this uh, tournament in the CVFR squadrons we're gonna have uh, on one side coupe being banned on the other side well it is gonna be november it is too strong too strong we do have um pcs and uh spa uh, over here showing up on the left side we got the spa on the right side we do have pcs it looks like uh, they did uh, go and uh, pick up quite a few bands over here on the left side P spa did go to ban nadersha with mubande and we do have uh, basil the second oh, i do see um uh, spain over here with dido while on the right side we're gonna have norway we got Ptolemy. looks like Japan, Persia, Cyrus this time, and of course, Age of uh, Steam, uh, Victoria. I'd also want to mention, I gotta say, I gotta say, we're on the fractal map. This is gonna be, as you've seen, quite a bit of war during the games over there. So woo, let's actually see how the players uh, are gonna uh, follow that up. I do see uh, on the left side over here, we do have a first pick, Mapuche, showing up. Ooh, get ready, those shotguns, uh, boys. Uh, let's see what Mapuche is going to do in the game over here. Andy Reo, hello there, sir. Good evening, good evening. Bonsoir, Monsieur Abbey Avenue. Uh, let me actually uh, see, check the check buttons over here. So I uh, have the correct uh, th settings. I do hope I have the correct settings and everything. Yeah, okay, it's it's there, it's there. Now, uh, it looks like on the right side, we do have uh, Khmer being picked up by them. And... Um, I don't need to uh, switch my microphone a little bit so I can actually see uh, what uh, uh, what is happening over here. Uh, they do have another pick, another selection to uh, go for. And uh, by the looks of it, it is uh, going to be Catherine de Medici. Okay, France, the Black Queen is going to go for it. Okay, on the left side, we do have uh, SPA coming up over here with um, uh, the... Um, uh, second pick it is gonna be scotland i mean that's that feels like it's gonna be a civilization that is a bit too semi like for a fractal map and uh, honestly i hope they're not actually gonna go for scotland even though i am actually quite curious so what are they gonna do with it i'm uh, worried a little bit about its uh, ability to well get everything going and uh, as you can see over here we do have um, them uh, still thinking about it they have 25 more seconds to go until uh, they figure this out now i do oh i just uh, realized I uh, did I actually I switched that one I think anyway I think it's fine I think it's fine I'm thinking about my settings uh, if I do here like through the years or uh, it is what it is now anyway we do have Lysithia coming up uh, on SPA this is a much more I would say um, much better much better uh, civilization uh, for this map Scythia can do naval can do um, uh, those land wars so I'm I'm thinking it is uh, you know it's fitting it's it's fitting for the fractal map. Uh, we do uh, need to see also what they're gonna do with the next wave of bands. Looks like uh, Krieg got taken out immediately by uh, PCS, while uh, we do have them on the left side over here. Uh, SPA does need to pick another ban, and let's go, let's go. Uh, three more bands to go, and uh, we're gonna find out what's the final selection of the civilizations here. Uh, let me uh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay, my uh. I gotta say my left eye is uh well i need 
Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, it's a little bit bloody kick. Uh, anyway, uh, we do need to uh, take a look also on the next band. It is going to be uh, Rome coming up here on the left side. And uh, with uh, two more bands to go, it looks like uh, they're living in a lot of those coastal civilizations in the game here. Even though they did ban a few ones, I'm, I'm still thinking they still have a lot of um, civilizations they could pick from if they actually want to go uh, naval like Elizabeth I. We do have um, also in the game uh, Indonesia available for them i'm uh, pretty sure well on the fractal map you can uh, use something like um yeah, the Eleanors, and uh, well, if you do want war, why not? Let's go for Genghis Khan, let's go for uh, something like uh, Alexander over here. I've seen, uh, we've seen our monitor is starting to uh, be a little bit higher up when it comes to uh, the player preferences, so yeah, it is what it is. Okay, I think I actually uh, can get into the game right now. Uh, there was a bit of an issue before. Um, uh, it looks like uh, they uh, did make the initial lobby without a better spectator mode and unfortunately, well, we couldn't uh, get in the spectators in the game over there. Uh, so they needed to uh, re-lobby with the new settings. Now uh, I'm connecting to players and I do hope uh, this is the correct uh, lobby. Now let me actually put it back on the screen over here so we see the pics. Uh, we do have uh, Scotland actually taken down as a ban. Very interesting actually, uh, Scotland showing up over here as a ban on the fractal map like we've seen in the previous game man there's i mean there is a decent amount of land but oof, i don't know man the, the distance between you and your opponents is actually quite uh, uh how to say um small so uh you might actually end up with uh, scotland in an real world from the beginning not the ideal civilization you want to have in that uh, particular place uh zulu got taken out a very strong uh, world like civilization definitely fitting on this map and uh, now bcs is going to show up with gorgo <laughs> I do uh, feel like uh, the moment we do have on both sides uh, quite warlike civilizations. Well, I guess... Uh, well, ah, there we go. There we go. Etaris. We're going to see the Basilico page showing up. We do have uh, Macedon uh, being picked up over here by SPA. And then the final pick from their side will be Grand Colombia. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Uh, hello there, uh, Zimons. How are you doing, sir? And welcome, welcome. We do need to see the last pick coming up from Project Conquerors. They can actually follow up with quite a few strong civilizations. I do have to point out on both teams, I feel like the the gold is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, so we do need to see them picking up a civilization uh, that can actually make the gold. But no, they don't care about gold. They just want to stomp everybody on the map. They just selected but didn't actually lock in Genghis Khan. Oh my god, okay. I mean, this this feels like it's uh, going to be a bit of a problem. They locked it in. They locked it in. Oh my god, okay. This is uh, this is quite something. This is, this is something. Okay, so I guess we're going to see both of them just going to war against each other all over the map, and which is going to be quite nice for us. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have quite a bit of um, uh, ruckus going on on this map. Uh, we, I do uh, need to also let me actually switch uh, a few settings over here so I can turn this off. There we go. We got that on and uh, yeah, map fractal and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, hello there, Machiavelli. Hello there, sir. Uh, you are tired like all hell. Whoa, did you party last night, Monsieur uh, Machiavelli? Your party, party, boom, boom, boomsy, boomsy. No, no. Oh man, oh man. Well, I, I hope uh, you're actually going to get a little bit of energy back. And uh, well, I hope you're going to enjoy your time with us tonight. Now, we do have uh, the players are starting to get in the lobby here. And uh, it looks like uh, Mindblow is asking uh, them to actually put the team labels uh, on uh, the screen. So that's uh, that's going to be fitting. Uh, wait, I was running and then pull ups. I'm uh, for this as is very difficult. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's an ongoing thing. I, I do that uh, actually uh, myself, uh, like running and pull-ups well i don't actually do pull-ups but i do um, uh, like use the stuff around the house to just uh, work my muscles uh, and it is what it is you know you gotta do what you gotta do uh, when you gotta do and uh, I, I just feel like it's you know it's just much faster than if i go to uh, something like a gym or something <sighs> Walking there, walking back, walking there, walking back. That's so much time lost. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess uh, some people just uh, want to uh, lose their time. So it is what it is. I uh, do uh, want to say that uh, it is an ongoing thing over there. I have the same problem. Like I, uh, I did get, uh, get a few kilos uh, in the last few years. And, I was, uh, and I'm still trying to actually get them uh, down. Uh, so yeah, hey, you got to do it, man. You got to do it. I know. It is what it is. We're not in our 20s anymore. Right? In our 
our teens when there was no issue, you know, you, you could just uh, keep going and uh, no problem. Ah, you don't eat today. Ah, no problem, man. Yeah, you need to run like 20 miles. Ah, no problem, man. I got the energy for everything. It is what it is. Let's go. <laughs> nah, it is, you know, unfortunately, this body, you know, like the human body actually uh, regresses if you don't uh, keep um, making it work. So you got to make it work every, every, um, or at least a few days. And like not, maybe you don't want to do it every day, but at least a few days a week. Uh, so you uh, keep the blood flowing. If you got an outdoor gym somewhere uh, close by, you do good to take a uh, run on it, then train there and run back with uh, your line of work. You should have the time. Now, I mean, you say that, but it's... Um I, I I don't think I have that much time to spare, honestly. Like a lot of the stuff that I need to do uh, during the... Um I want to say, uh, during the day, off stream, not on stream, off stream, it's um, it's getting quite uh, heavy. Like, the, the, I want to say, the animations, the, um, the graphics for the websites, the websites, uh, uh, administration, uh, the back, like uh, the back channels of uh, Discord that I need to take care of with uh, like the CPL admin and uh, CWC and so on and so forth. There's, there's quite a bit like small things that just added up over time. So <laughs> you would think I have a lot of time, but I... Uh, it's, it's not that much time. Anyway, I, I, let's actually see what's uh, going on over here. On the left side, we do have uh, Litoxa uh, coming up over here with uh, Grand Colombia. Looks like April is going to be the one with Lotaro. Novak on Cynthia, Xifi on Macedon. On the right side, we do have Alpha G uh, coming up with uh, Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. Jeru uh, is going to be on uh, Gorgo. And then we do have uh, bam, 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 bam. Um, Speedy on Genghis Khan. And then uh, Jeff Armand the Seventh uh, being picked up by hash k i believe actually hash k is a new addition to a pcs i'm not sure exactly when he was recruited but this is the first time i see him actually play on uh, project conquerors and oh my god oh my god oh cage fight boys cage fight there's no way out for macedon except going through khmer uh oh <laughs> Influently repeating on all scales, but in the game's terms, it means uh, entirely random. Uh, what does fractal mean? Uh, as you can see over here, it's um, first of all, it's a lot less land, I believe, than um, well, less land actually, not a lot less land. It's less land than the Pangea map, and instead of being a clumped up territory, you do have it uh, split up a little bit. So, as you can see over here, we do have uh, like two uh, big continents, the left side and the right side. Actually, I think there are three because, uh, yeah, there's a one time. Well, this is, I guess you can count it as a peninsula or something because it's connected a, a little bit to the others, but it's not um, like through one time jokes. Um, so, th this is basically what the map looks like. Uh, unfortunately, Fractal actually it's quite uh, or especially uh, considered by the players um, not as um, reliable as other maps like Pangea or other uh, maps like this it is more of a fun map than a competitive map but since we are in a farm tournament the CVFR squadrons 11.5 uh, uh, season the in-between season uh, before the qualifying season uh, for the next CWC is uh, uh, did actually choose to go for a few fun maps you've seen Primordial we've seen uh, Highlands Sixth Man Highlands uh, which is much more uh, small and much smaller than the other one we've seen um uh, quite a few maps that we don't see in the big uh, tournaments. Uh, well, uh, let's actually take a look at their spawns over here and uh, let's see uh, Xifi coming up with a settler. We do have him to the northwest and uh, by the looks of it he's uh, gonna get to settle a sheep tile for a 3-1 base. I do see uh, he also has a few 2-2s two around him. Well, he's gonna need to start putting some gold in uh, to get those 2-2s uh, two in the second ring. Now, we also have him with um, a Matterhorn between him and Khmer and uh, I'm pretty sure if they do find each other, uh, this is going. This might be a reason for a remap here for them. I'm pretty sure they're going to think, "Oh no, our Camerian player is going to die to the Macedonian pressure." <laughs> Macedon is well known for the early pressure, uh, and uh, of course the Taris or Hippastis are going to be uh, very good units to go against um, his opponents at the beginning of the game. Uh, I do also want to point out. I just put up the remap uh, option. You can have a choice between zero, one, or two. They do have one remap token on each team uh, so in total two remaps can actually appear in the game unless we're actually going to see something like a technical even so i doubt it you know it is what it is um we do have um, anchor tom also with a 3-1 base uh looks like uh 
uh, Speedy is saying that, uh, wait, he, he had a terrible choice. He did a terrible choice. Okay. Uh, well, we do have, um, what he, yeah, anyway, um, we do have him, uh, we do have Kumer actually with a coastal spawn. He does have a pretty good setup to the southeast. And of course, if he does want to uh, get this uh, Matterhorn bonus, he's uh, probably going to uh, look to uh, settle on that dry style somewhere uh, or next to the dry style somewhere. So he blocks any settle from Maceron. He needs to be careful exactly how he is going to do this. And of course, uh, try to force Maceron to put as much gold as uh, possible. Now, Pella is not coastal. He's not going to get to build boats to actually go to Angor Tom, even though he would have had uh, the opportunity. Uh, well, and that actually uh wait what what's going on hello speedy what is speedy speedy uh it's fine okay what what, what what's going on Oh, oh, he has. Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't know what Timort is, but he said something like uh, IRL problem. I uh, IRL probably actually. What what is this Timort? Oh, Xifi is not responding. Oh, I, I guess. Okay. 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 He just went to get something to drink, probably. Uh, let's go to war. Yes. There's going to be the fight for the Matterhorn. Uh, hello there, closing. Good luck, uh, mine here. How are you doing, sir, tonight? How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, looking at the south over here, uh, let's actually see if uh, we do have uh, somebody. Yes, we do. Lithoxa is actually going to play Grand Columbia and looks like he did settle on a culture tile. He does have a marble underneath that uh, capital city with a 2-2-1 two, two, and it uh, looks like he did uh, grow quite quickly to the other tiles over here on the east side. He is also going to get to benefit from uh, these rivers for the fresh water, one to the southeast, one to the east side. And I'm actually curious if he's going to go coastal. Um, he is the opponent of Jaya Varman the seventh, of course. Grand Columbia does prefer to uh, go to war on land rather than on the seas uh, but it's not unheard of that even civilizations that uh, do have bonuses uh, more well uh, more towards uh, land units uh, can uh, go to war or will go to war depending on the situation in the game uh, against their opponents on uh, the seas you know we do have also Mapuche coming up with a 3-2-1 his appeal uh, does uh, look amazing but he can definitely work this uh, he does have a few cities to settle east north and west and I do see his appeal is going to allow him to put some of those uh, Shema Mools here and there. I also want to point out uh, he can try to increase the appeal uh, quality with uh, different things, uh, different options in uh, the game. Usually uh, we've seen uh, players uh, try to go, or uh, sometimes we've seen players uh, try to go um, for the city park strategy, even though uh, that kind of flew off. Did you did you guys see it kind of disappeared at some point? There's there's no more uh, thing thing. Uh, oh he's oh oh I see it was an extra T over there. Okay thank you thank you uh, Klegao also good evening sir how are you doing how are you doing? Now we do have uh, to take a look on the northeast. It looks like Alpha G is uh, gonna be relatively close to Khmer over here on his east side. They are allies and at some point maybe they're gonna try to trade with each other. Uh, but they do need to take out Preslav if they wanna do this un unless uh, they're gonna put some. Uh, cities over here uh, looks like uh, paris is uh, gonna be on the eastern coast on the inner seas where uh, he's uh well he might actually have an uh, opponent over here in the form of novak well novak over here is quite far away so i'm thinking maybe carnival timings if uh, the game is gonna go that long uh, we do have a uh, setter coming up in three turns uh, from paris he does have uh, refish tile to uh, get to improve a three to one fertile also uh, to work from the beginning and uh, multiple cities that he could place on uh, the coast to the south and to the north he has uh, one north one south now i also notice he can keep on going uh, to the south but then he's gonna reach mongolia oh this might be actually a faster trade route um, for him um, i'm pretty sure korakorum can get a city to the north uh, quite easily or to the east side somewhere uh, towards the pantanal and uh, try to trade coastally with paris a lot of gold will be acquired litoxa found a goodie hat and got a relic uh, we do have uh, hashke actually moving uh, through the matter for tiles and it looks like Sifi did find out about Matterhorn as well they're probably gonna see each other next turn here uh, oh oh I'm, I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, excuse me uh, ma'am excuse me ma'am uh, okay so we do have uh, oh, I, I'm glad you're doing fine and uh, welcome to the stream I'm uh, uh, I'm still really sorry it's hard for me to actually uh, see uh, how to say or uh, judge what it is but uh, I, I think I do have uh, more uh, 
Anyway, I voted for the Zero Remaster uh, because I hoped they would not find each other on the Priester. Yes, I honestly hoped in my heart over there. I hoped as well. To, we want to see the war. And I, I honestly, this is going to be such a big uh, reason for them to actually get this remap going, uh, which is going to be a bit unfortunate. Would have definitely wanted to see Masteron over here have a target next to him to go against. Uh, we do have also Sparta coming up with a relatively free settle on the east side of the map over here. He has all of this uh, land to the north uh, and to the south to settle. A lot of um, cities can be put down and uh, benefited from. He does also have uh, Mohenio Daro in the north with a few city states to the south. Uh, very, very far in the south there's going to be uh, Scythia and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, at some point maybe, maybe they're going to poke at each other but it doesn't look like it's going to be that uh, fast. Now we do have actually Novak uh, going to the northwest. It looks like he's going to settle coastal. He's going to go for the extra harbor and we are just a few seconds away from uh, actually seeing if they want to remap this or not the remap uh, vote will be started soon and let me, let me put the pause because it looks like they uh, they forgot about the pause here uh looks like volcano might help a macedon there's a volcano helping macedon oh oh this one yeah uh, in one way sir I really hope he's going to chop the forest before it's going to get uh, burnt or crisp. Uh, Sandorius also. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, basically, actually. Yes, yes. Mine, uh, I think you're very right over there. At least that's what YouTube is saying. I don't know on uh, Twitch how to judge this because it doesn't give me that readout. But on YouTube, it says, uh, yes, 99% uh, males. I'm sorry, it's uh, I, I guess the strategy content is much more. <gasps> we got the war going. Oh yes, oh yes, man. Oh, you know, you see, Hashke just put his uh, big pants on, big boy pants on, and we're gonna see them war. <laughs> Uh, let's actually uh, see what's uh, going on over here. I can actually wait. Can I? Can I show you this? Uh, oh, how viewers, uh, audience, audience here in the audience screen. Yes, actually, sorry, it's ninety-eight point four percent. That's what it is. In the last twenty-eight days, in the age of gen and gender uh, audience tab, it says ninety-eight point four percent male, one point six percent females. Oof. Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I, I'm sorry. Um, a pretty good amount of Zubius, of Vesavius. <laughs> For Cydia, yes, indeed. Uh, still way more females than on CVFR then? Uh, I, I, I guess, I have no idea. Uh, pause for his moment? Yeah, yeah, it was a moment over there. How many I should oblique? It feels like pretty naval map. Uh, I, I, to be honest, yes, but uh, at the same time, it does feel like they're gonna still have more uh, land warfare than uh, naval warfare. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Desdole, Desdole, Rafifi, I'm sorry, it is what it is. Uh, Tarizin, also, good evening, sir. Uh, absolutely, I request to continue. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, I will do. Yes, sir, let's go. <laughs> uh, also, let, let's see uh, what do we have here. Hunde Priester, oh, 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 all right. Hunde Priester, look at that, man. You're right, look at that. You actually snatched the points. Choose outcome, zero remaps, let's go. Complete prediction. Bam, 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 bam. We got it. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the final, yeah, that is true. I also wonder that. Uh, Kumer have uh, war chiefs on either side, uh, on either side, but I uh, guess so. Uh, we do have uh, Mapuche coming up uh, from the south over here, but I think, uh, oh yeah, he's, uh, oh my God, it is his opponent. At least he's going to have an ally on the east. That's going to be Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen, uh, played by Alpha G. Let's actually quickly take a look at the spawns here and uh, go one by one. The volcano started to explode. And uh, not only that, it burned all of those uh, forests to the ground over there. Meep, forest. Now, it did give uh, one foot to all of the tiles improved by the volcanic soil and a little bit, a tiny bit of science. You know, it is, what, it is something. They gave him something. You know, it is what it is. We do have a uh, settler coming up in 110 from uh, Pella, and it looks like uh, he is already moving with the settler to the south. Uh, is he gonna be faster than Hashke? I don't think so. Oh, yes, he will. Oh my god, Hashke actually wants to be, uh, wants to put the city on the stone tile. 
un non fresh water city on the stone tile okay and while i'm pretty sure xif is gonna try to go somewhere around here well that's actually it's gonna be a problem and they can't get there fast enough and i'm pretty sure xif is also gonna see the settler he might actually want to put uh, the city on uh, the fresh water tile over here on the nighter uh, even though i am certain he wanted to keep that for another city center now we uh, do have him moving let's see one two turns one two turns oh oh my god oh my god look at look at see if he go man he goes to the left he goes to the right he wants to see what's going on over there you know oh my god this is like uh how to say american football you know to the left to the right to the left to the right you don't know where the ball is going over there he shoots Ooh, you see the ball rolling in the air ah he scores uh who will uh, snatch uh tomblerone settler <laughs> before the standard victory prediction uh you mean matterhorn i'm pretty sure it's gonna be hash k yeah the, he's already on a settleable tile over here on the stone tile so i'm pretty sure it's a uh, hash k and it looks like if he realized this after he saw the settler move there and he's just gonna go uh, coastal to the east side there yeah it's it's fine it's fine uh the matterhorn choke <clears throat> yeah we do have uh, the city of Pella with available horses in the northeast. Looks like he's also going to have iron in the second ring tile uh, over there. Quite easy to improve. And I'm pretty sure that the builder is going to start improving the tiles next to the exploding volcano. Uh, we uh, do need to see also what's going on here on Comedian's land. We do have him putting down a fast holy site. It's going to give him the two food extra with the three faith. And by the looks of it, he's also going to get a set another setter coming up in five. Uh, that actually puts him uh, quite, um, how to say... Um, lower in city count uh, versus Maceron and of course it is because of the holy sites he really wanted to get the holy site going uh, he's uh, gonna have a boost from Matterhorn in terms of uh, culture he already has uh, two extra culture points he doesn't need to give a monument and uh, put a monument down and that's gonna give him a bit of an advantage here uh, we uh, do have uh, Angor Tom also with available horses and iron over there to the east side looks like Sifi is trying to figure out exactly what's going on in the territory of Khmer to see the resources available and uh, how he can approach this war uh, we do need to see what kind of religion also Khmer is gonna go even though I'm pretty sure something like uh, defender of the faith should be something very high up in his preferences because he really wants to get the defense going uh, also hello there sir Ox Daniel hello sir uh, how does Macedon have a second settler so fast uh, he didn't go for the holy site. It's not that fast. It's actually turn 16, right? He got it out of turn 14. Uh, so, yeah, it's not that fast. It was just um, Khmer uh, had to put his uh, first holy site down. That's why. Now, we do have in the southwest also Columbia coming up with his uh, second settler already moving to the northeast. Looks like Bogota already picked up uh, Pantheon. Religious settlements is going to be the choice for him today. Uh, he's going to want to uh, get these uh, settlers with a few more tiles acquired in the city center when he puts the them down and a little bit of extra production towards uh, uh, training those settlers he does have horses in the second ring i see iron is going to be fourth ring out he moved he moved from one of these tiles so that's why I, it, the iron tile is a bit too far away for him oh well it is what it is now he's going to have uh, actually relatively good adjacency campuses over here that he could increase the adjacency with the uh, government plaza i'm actually quite curious how lithoxa is going to want to approach this um uh, development of the cities and i do see he's actually eyeballing that one one tile over here uh so he can actually get the closer to the bananas to the two two tiles and of course uh, maybe take over brussels uh, brussels would probably make a good addition to his empire anyway uh grand colombia is gonna get a free general so you know just get uh, to chop a few horses and bam you're in the business bro uh, we do have also to take a look at mapuche really quickly here he does have uh, picun mapu settled to the northeast of Engulu mapu he uh, didn't actually want to put it on the cotton tile uh, he did put it on the 2-2 and uh, acquire the bananas uh, that's uh, that's pretty good uh, i was uh, thinking he might actually get a city over here uh, which of course he just blocked because he got that city to the north he might uh, want to go one tile to the south over there and next to the marble tile and the mountains uh, so he can uh, put that city uh, he has a relatively strong city also in the south uh, that he can put uh, next to the um, stone tiles over there not bad and i do see he's actually going to the west side here to benefit from the three two one uh, fur tiles and uh, i do see him uh, benefiting from a lot of marbles honestly i wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna go for something like uh, stone circles over here so he can actually get some extra production from these uh, marble tiles and he has a decent amount of uh, stone throughout his territory also uh third ring horses very expensive we do have also iron uh, second ring from piku mapu that actually can be relatively easily acquired uh and we need to move on 
Mapuche and Temple of Artemis? Yes. Yes, please. SPA picks are all aggressive saves. I know, right? They are all unique horse rush units. Yes, I know. I know. That is, that, that, this is going to be great. Oh, yes. We do have uh, Marseille and Paris, uh, Paris coming up over here uh, to the east side of the fourth continent we were talking about. He does have a builder coming up from Paris. And I do see um, horses in uh, the east side of that city center with, um, well, in the, in the first ring. Very nice. He has a third center moving to the south, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna put it, uh, well... I'm thinking, is he gonna want a 2-2 two, two base? Honestly, I would uh, really uh, say uh, move one tile to the south over there on the 2-1 uh, for like so many more reasons. Uh, I, I don't think the extra production would be that valuable versus uh, the ability to get the best uh, campus over here. He's gonna be getting the extra adjacency from the third tile. He's also gonna be getting uh, closer to his 2-2s two over here if he moves. Uh, he, and he's also gonna have uh, one or only one extra tile. Uh, one, one only one tile of attack uh, toward the city center instead of two and it doesn't make a single point of difference um, a single tile of difference uh, to put another city to the south it doesn't block anything so they're basically on the same level of distance uh, from the south so i definitely think um, for that extra turn over here it would be much better to actually go on the two one and uh, get that going but I think, to be honest, I think he's just going to settle in place. That's uh, that's my read out of the situation over here. Uh, we do have also him with an iron tile to the northeast of uh, Paris. And I do see he's pumping out a galley. He wants to actually um, see how the coast looks like. And of course, figure out if he has a free city to take over. Uh, looks like uh, also has some reef fish, two of them. He did uh, acquire a third ring tile to the northeast. And uh, the builder is going to start improve them really quickly here. Um, Okay, he's going to get Celestial Navigation Boost, not bad, uh, definitely wants that. Uh, he has to go on the 2-2. Two -two. Uh, blocks Inland City, wait, uh, blocks Inland City, no, no he doesn't, no he doesn't, he gets this one. Th this is not a good city anyway, you get this one, you, get, you see, he doesn't block anything. Um, the problem, he loses a city on the river, come on man, no he doesn't, Look, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, like, it, it doesn't need to go. Like, the 2-2 two, two is, unfortunately, extremely expensive. So, uh, and it, the extra production that you get, you're just going to lose by uh, gold. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, anyway, uh, let, uh, let's see. Korakorum uh, already two turns away from Temple of Artemis. Uh, while uh, Mapuche didn't even think of going for it. We do have uh, the city of Korakorum uh, finishing up uh, next turn. Uh, Speedy is uh, improving uh, quite a few of his passions over here. And I do want to see what's going on. Some early aggression. Sifi is already putting some uh, archers in the face of uh, the great Khmerian city. Now, while we do see Khmer actually going for a northeastern city instead of the southeast. Wait a second he was a bit probably scared about Mapuche and of course the scout of um, Macedon there anyway uh, coming back to uh, Speedy we do have uh, him also with uh, the two horses improved it looks like uh, he does have a 1-4 deal type from the beginning to use for that extra production and I do see he put uh, one city to the east side one city to the left side honestly with so many passions improved God of Open Sky does really look very juicy here very very juicy already five uh, points of uh, culture can be acquired one two three four Five. Uh, we do have him uh, uh, scouting out the south over here. He's gonna reveal, of course, uh, the Pantanal if he didn't already. I'm actually uh, quite curious if he did or not. Yes, he did. Okay, it's fine. You see, professional scouting over here. Yeah, man, I gotta say he paid his scouts very well over there. He did it. He did it. He just made a mistake. Miscalculated his tiles again. Yeah, maybe. Uh, real ones uh, place their series five uh, tiles apart. Earlier, uh, HK had a really bad game with Ellen Rovec. It seems it happens again. Or it's settled for trade with French. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you mean this one? Yeah, probably. But honestly, they can trade through Almalik anyway. It's just a matter of uh, getting uh, their trades route, the trade route going. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, let's actually move forward towards uh, Gorgo over here. We do have a fourth setter already trained in uh, the city of Sparta. Seven turns uh, to go. Uh, he's getting scouted by Scythia from the south. And we will need to see if there's going to be any kind of aggression. Having a two-tile choke is going to make it much more easier for Gorgo to defend. And I do see he has a city to kill over here Kabul uh, might be actually uh, quite uh, easy to pick if uh, he's gonna get a few galleys uh, at the moment it's only 18 garrison defense strength 
not very strong and of course so i do see that argos is being placed on the eastern side of the coast over here could actually uh, start to uh, pump out boats after he finishes his um, monument i do see um, we do have also athens next to a three two banana and a two one 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 a turtle tile i uh, have to mention you know there's another tile in the third ring from sparta and i do see horses uh, in the first ring of argos so um, well iron is going to be hard to acquire horses are going to be quite easy he does need to get the builder out so he can improve them and of course uh, i don't think this is going to be the one that's going to improve the horse uh, the builder coming up from athens uh, we're probably going to see uh, something built in argos or sparta to actually improve those tiles over there we do have uh, Pantheon also chosen by him, God of the Sea. He's going to get an extra point of production on all of these uh, coastal tiles, making these turtles 3 3 one ones have very nice production capabilities for him. Okay, so, uh, first encampment coming out from Pella. Put to the northeast. He just wanted to get it going, man. He wanted to get it going. Methone over here. If uh, he does manage to get the builder out, he's gonna get to improve the whales. And we do need to see how fast he's gonna get to horseback riding. Looks like uh, he's uh, tied right now. At the, uh, he's gonna get them at the same time as Hashke in four turns, while he's um, pumping out more archers from his cities uh, to try to defend himself a little bit easier, or even uh, have it uh, have a little bit easier time to attack into Khmer. Uh, we do have a pantheon also from uh, Khmer. Looks like it is gonna be initiation rights uh he's gonna be in one of the dirty anyway pumping out units being forced to pump out units is gonna make it easier for him to acquire faith he's gonna get a percentage of uh, the production uh, put into those uh, units after he finishes them in form of faith uh, the, uh looking at the last save here we do have a Scythia to the southeast it looks like uh, harbors are already coming out of his cities a plus four in napolis a plus uh, three in bokrovka and a plus three in comes from sky uh, we do have him also with um, a fourth settler moving to the east side very fast to actually get these uh, four cities i gotta say this is uh, the correct way to go because well he's very far away from his opponent and uh, might actually just uh, uh, try to benefit from that be a little bit greedy at the beginning to um, get the fourth city out uh, okay, we got two encampments already put down by Mapuche, and it looks like he's improving already uh, his horse styles. I do see uh, the one next to Huili Mapu got improved. He has another one next to Engulu Mapu, and he still did not choose a Pantheon. Now we do have him working the traders between, between Pikun Mapu and Engulu, with uh, Moksha establishing in the city of uh, Engulu Mapu in his capital. And we do have uh, Bogota putting down his Gavron Plaza. Okay, this is... This is a bit worrying, but I understand why he did it. He wanted to place it faster rather than later. Uh, although, I would say it would have been a little bit better. Just a tiny, tiny bit better if you would have put it on over here on the 2-2 base. Uh, there is a possibility for him to actually keep these tiles uh, for the GCC towards his um, in, uh, later on industrial zones. Uh, and, of course, we do see that uh, Magnus is going to establish in the city of Bogota. Uh, the thing that I want to point out is, uh, well... He needed bronze working to actually place uh, the Gavron Plaza between the three cities uh, somewhere over here. And I'm pretty sure he just didn't want to chop the forest or didn't want to uh, wait until he got the build over there. Now the Gavron Plaza is probably not going to give bonuses to a lot of districts, which might actually be a bit of a problem with his later on tempo. You give some tempo at the beginning, you get some tempo later or vice versa. This is how it goes. It's all a trade in this game. All a trade. Uh, settler spam from Gran Colombia. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he should, but he's not. He chose religious settlement. I mean, how many times did we see this, guys? How many times did we see this? This, this is like the the tenth game. Then we see that we see somebody picking up religious settlements and not actually using the bonus. I'm going crazy right now, man. Oh my, oh my. Well, at least his, uh, his government plaza is going to give bonuses to one of his uh, commercials over here. It's going to turn into a plus five after he's going to finish it. And he's going to get the splendid. Not bad, not bad. He is getting another commercial here from uh, Quito. And I do see uh, Maracaibo is also putting down a commercial. Now, put it uh, put it up for a vote, please. If no religion. Wait, uh, does Khmer have? Uh, uh, wait, where is he? He's not making projects. He's two great profit points a ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. You wanna you wanna win some points? Also, hello there, uh, Raccoon. How are you doing? How the hell did Alexander and the Khmer spawn so close? They did it. They actually saw each other. They thought it's uh how to say it's good. So you know. Uh, manage prediction. Give me a second. Uh, will 
Khmer get defender of faith? Yes or no? Okay, let's go for uh, two minutes because we don't have that much time until he's going to get a uh, religion. I do see him going for the fourth uh, settler over here from Angor Tom and I do see uh, at the moment he's uh, getting another you know, one of these uh, holy sites on the east side over here. He does have uh, archers uh, being put to the north of uh, Vimayapura to uh, try to stop Macedon from uh, getting in and you can see there are some uh, archer shots, some arrows uh, flying uh, next to Matterhorn uh, immediately when uh, Xif is trying to get an advantage while well, he's being pushed back. Now Moksha establishing in Angor Tom in one and uh he's not making a lot of faith at the moment i gotta say not making a lot of faith hash game is on six faith a turn that is uh probably not gonna be uh, that big uh, for the next era when he definitely wants to uh, make use of it there is a bit of a problem for him like he might get attacked from two sides right we got mapuche in the south alpha g uh did uh, reveal himself to the northeast of uh, mapuche but i don't think he's actually gonna go for uh, encampments anytime soon i'm talking about france here city patreon Ganas, he's using that bonus towards higher uh, getting the traders going, Moksha in Paris, uh, he only improved his horses, doesn't look like Alpha G is going to be that aggressive uh, compared to Apiul who already is working two of these uh, encampments and of course has started to generate um, uh, general points. That's also something that at the moment because uh, Hashke did not actually um, uh, use his production in Angorton available for him uh, to go for um, uh, uh, encampment here and i don't think he actually has bronze uh so he can put down an encampment well that's actually gonna delay quite a bit wait 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 where did his uh, settler disappear wasn't he training a settler in angorton where, where did that go uh oh oh he wants to keep it for the horse he wants to get a horse out very very quickly i mean i guess it makes sense but I guess, and we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, we do have uh, Pella finishing up his encampment. He's starting to acquire great general points. How many tiles can Vimayapura be shot from? Uh, Vimayapura... Uh, yes, two tiles to the north. Uh, well, three tiles actually. One, two, three. It kind of depends if uh, if ever we're going to see this tile, which I don't uh, think we will see this tile... Uh, get chopped down we, okay we do have uh, horses uh, two turns in angorton vimayapura five turns and it looks like uh, on the other side uh, xifi is going for sailing i'm very curious if he's um, gonna chop down a few etaris i'm expecting him to go for etaris and it doesn't look like he's gonna have the patience uh, or the time to go for his basic pates before he does that where is kick w i didn't have that option uh, sir i'm sorry wait i just understand that but spa is, has a full military composition yes also Thandorius uh, asked you last time but you didn't see I was hoping to hear you take a minute to talk about scaling and tempo I know it's vague but I love to listen to your preach for a second uh, okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, uh, scaling and tempo so first, um, first of all I would say it's very important to actually uh, read out the location you're going to be in, like the position on the map, but to see exactly what kind of options you have. And depending on that, to make an informed opinion about uh, what you should do uh, to actually um, influence the game. If you are in a free sim position, you're probably going to want to... Um, um, make good use out of your um, Golden Age uh, abilities like membrush and Voice, Free Inquiry and so on and at the same time I'm pretty sure you're, uh, it's a very very good addition to try to make use of uh, your uh, district discount. So uh, having uh, discovered less districts than you actually have uh, built uh, throughout uh, your uh, territory does um, um, give you a, a, a main, an, an extreme advantage when it comes to um, your tempo. The third thing that you need to uh, take care of is uh, how your stats are scaling. Remember, there's a balance between how fast you can actually uh, build stuff versus how fast you're acquiring technologies or civics, like how much science you have, how much culture you have, and the um, uh, cost that uh, each of them uh, adds to the game. So every time you, uh, you discover a district, it's, it's uh, the production needed to build that district will start scaling with uh, the technologies and the civics we, you start acquiring. You know, that's actually a formula up on uh, on a website somewhere on Reddit or something that you can look up. I honestly don't know it by heart. I just know the... Um uh, the base underneath it and uh, a lot of the times you actually uh, figure out that um, you do need to um, uh, you do need to um, uh, try to put your production into um, uh, the districts that will help you um, 
scale a lot faster during the next the first golden ages for example commercials are very widely known uh, harbors are very widely known you get to benefit from the pen passion voice or the free inquiry either, uh, either way you need the bonuses from and uh, then uh, using the cards uh, getting as fast as possible to the cards will help you out as well now uh, the tempo is usually about the same like there's an average tempo that the players will go for and a lot of the players you see them uh, managing to get to the mid game uh, phase uh, uh, for a golden age that actually helps them a lot um, because of uh, the uh, average tempo they have uh, they uh manage to use their abilities uh, to get enough uh, culture to actually get through the culture tree to make use of the cards and then uh, show it up uh, there's uh, like, so many details that i need to actually uh, keep playing like i need to show you by playing uh, so you can see the little differences uh, in tempo because it's uh, very 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 la uh, situationally dependent so right now it's very hard for let's let's take a look at case spaces over here cases we do have mastodon and vimayapura right and uh, Khmer, they can't really scale very well. So they're gonna get to use uh, on monumentality on one side with uh, religion, and they're gonna get to use on the other side probably Pembrush and Voice because of the encampments that. Um, Mataron did put down uh, so he gets a little bit of culture and a little bit of um, uh, gold now on the other side we do have a uh, and, and this is going to make it very hard for them to scale they didn't put down campuses they won't get enough science and they're going to struggle to get something like maybe pingala in a city moksha they need both it is uh, it is they're going to need to make a decision between them it is going to be quite hard for them to actually get out of uh, this now the only way they can get out of this and uh, get back into the game properly is if they do manage to um, uh, take each other out so one wins over the other uh, wins his uh, opponent series and um, you know, manages to get an advantage from that uh, if not if that doesn't happen and they keep locking horse against each other they're just not gonna scale as uh, uh, as fast as the other players in the game um, if you uh, take a look for example on uh, Grand Colombia right his scaling is gonna be quite fast over here because of the extra production and the culture that he's gonna get through the series which has uh, uh, two effects first of all gold Sec uh, second of all the yields that you uh, actually three things uh, the yields that you get from the trade routes uh, throughout uh, the series over here not um, so not uh, that's not gold that's f uh, production and um uh, food that you get you get to uh, scale up your cities you get more population use more tiles um, build faster um, uh, stuff that you need like uh, campuses or uh, i should say districts overall and the third thing and i think it's very important he's not actually raising his stats fast so he's actually uh, trying to artificially lower his uh, stats um, for uh, later on uh, scaling because he knows if he goes too fast uh, through the civic tree or through the technology tree, he's going to discover um, you know, districts that won't allow him to actually get the discount bonuses going and which will uh, slow him down in the mid game. Uh, on the right side, we do have, for example, another uh, another one, right? This is the coastal uh, opening over here. We got the uh, Pokrovka, we got the uh, Scythia over here with uh, four cities. Uh, he... Um he also did the same thing he gave up on uh, the how to say uh on the stats uh, let's actually see where is he on the stats he's on uh where is he hello uh Scythia. eight and nine you see he gave up on the stats eight and nine eight science and nine culture using magnus internals he's preparing his production capabilities got the harbors got the gold he's gonna uh, prepare his um uh I would say traders uh, soon with uh, very very fast uh, lighthouses and then uh, he's um, uh, gonna explode with uh, more uh, science and more uh, culture when he's gonna get his uh, pen brush and voice I think he just got his pen brush and voice so now 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 he's starting to scale the first uh, era wasn't that important for him the next one is gonna be important the fourth city actually will be an extremely good addition to his empire for his uh, mid game um, tempo uh, if only uh, if he went uh, for shipbuilding, a uh, D-Day would be amazing against Hash K. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We do have a problem over here for uh, Khmer. It looks like we do have the first Tataris uh, on the map. Basikoi Pay is coming up in Pella. Uh, there's no general yet, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, Mastodon get it soon. He did manage to get a project in. Uh, I do have to point out that everybody did manage to get to a golden age. Golden, golden, golden across the board over here to the from the left to the right side. And uh, we do need to see... Um, 
how that uh, gonna how he is gonna manage to punch through the Cameroon defenses. Of course, the Atari's do benefit from uh, promotions, and at the moment, of course, we do have uh, some uh, Xifian Macedonian archers over here showing up uh, to try to deal the damage against the Cameroon horses before that uh, Atari is gonna go in. I'm also certain that he's gonna need to wait for uh, the general if he actually wants to start pushing. Um, I do have to point out at the moment this this is a bit of a mistake over here so you see this horse actually is being put under uh, uh, fortify this is a problem this is actually a big problem if he keeps fortifying the units and the atari gets the plus 10 uh, this is going to be a problem look at that bam charge ability plus 10 combat strength versus fortify defender bam look at that 46 46 it, it just got really really tough to actually handle this and with, uh, when the Ataris get hit that uh, plus 10 uh, charge ability well they're gonna get to push they're definitely gonna get to push you gotta be careful about that anyway uh we do have jarman jarman the seventh with uh, monumentality golden age and i do see uh, he is benefiting only from 11 points of faith per turn he's starting to actually buy out quite a few things over here uh, for his uh, from his faith uh, pool now we do have him uh, putting down the first encampment in three turns and that is actually put to the north which i gotta say it does feel like another mistake over there uh, because that encampment can be hit from two sides uh, from two tiles uh, from the west side and uh, that will make it uh, vulnerable to uh, attacks uh, from xifi now i'm a bit uh, curious why xifi did not actually get this tile from matterhorn it might be a trap over here to actually bring out a Cumerian unit out of the city to try to uh, smash his uh, archers out Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. He got next to the city. He got next to us. It's pretty good to actually have this going. Okay, so uh, looks like archers are starting to uh, shoot down the horse over here. At the moment, uh, the Atari is not moving. Looks like Hash K uh, did not click the fortify again. Uh, but I think that the fortify... Uh, that was fortified anyway. Yeah, it is fortified anyway. It's, uh, it does benefit from the fortify, plus 4 fortify bonus. Uh, speedy penbrush and voice golden age 18 science and 30 culture i think uh, genghis khan is going a bit too high up in the stats right now he did go for an opening with um, campuses and you can see uh, he got his government plaza to increase that uh, we do have uh, in three turns wall of throne uh, activated from him he's the uh, one that might actually need to help out against mapuche here uh, looks like uh, mapuche is gonna have uh, quite a hard target to go against and uh, by the looks of it at the moment after, uh, yes he did finish his uh, two encampments he got a uh, great general and uh, looks like he's deploying it to the northeast instead of the east side well of course uh, speedy might actually get to push him we do have uh, also Pingala settling in uh, Ulaanbaatar, an encampment coming out from him. He's, uh, if I uh, would have to say over here, I think uh, Speedy is trying as uh, fast as possible to get to his uh, Keshigs uh, so he can actually uh, stomp his opponent with those units much faster than April can um, react. We're going to need to see if that's uh, going to be the truth. Um, uh, it is by turn to go as high as, high as possible because his push won't work if he's late to the park. Yeah, uh, uh, look at that, man. We were just talking. Oh my god, man. You see? We were thinking about the same thing, man. Uh, I guess you gotta prioritize all other yields uh, early instead. Yeah, but it adds to the strat in the multiplier. I don't think... I don't like that you are pushing uh, by getting too much early science. Punished. Oh, punished. Punished by getting uh, too much uh, early science and uh, culture. Uh yes and no i mean yes and no it kind of depends because again uh, it's very situational it's very situational like you, you you get some advantages but you can get pushed so it's just like Ave machiavelli is uh, pointing out over here very correctly if mongolia does manage to benefit from uh, the lack of uh, points of um, development over here from apu like 10 only 10 science and 31 culture it's going to be very hard for him to actually get into uh, castles so he reveals his uh, stronger units and then uh, Keshex are going to come uh, running around the map over here. Uh, this is going to be a significant issue. Significant issue. So you got to be careful when, how, and why you're doing what you're doing over here in a lot of the games. And this is like this is a lot of the times uh, something that the players uh, do um, uh, learn by doing. You, you get. Um, um rewarded for correctly um choosing the strategy you need to and uh, then you get punished for uh, not choosing it for the correct one so yeah it's a give and take it's a give and take oh my god he passed this look at this so this is one unit that we don't get to actually see uh, that much in the games over here that he passed it is basically like a this district destroyer over here it does have plus 10 when besieging a district uh, and of course as you can see it does uh, deal a massive 
massive amounts of damage against the Incamon. 57 strength against that Incamon, the 41. And uh, he's going to get there in uh, the next two turns to start hitting it. Uh, this is going to be a significant issue for uh, HK. We do have another Hippastis that will probably try to deploy uh, to Vimayapura. While, uh, of course, uh, he did manage to actually get uh, General Trunk Track to help him out. Looks like he's pulling another Incamon from Methone. And uh, it looks like Sif is trying to wrap around as well to get to the south. Uh, so he can actually try to uh, see what's going on in Kumar. Now we got a prediction, guys. We got a prediction. Let's see. What, what is it? What is it? Shinto. Defender of the Faith. He got it. He got it. Choral music and Defender of the Faith. Uh, so, yeah. Wolo Strong coming up from Hashke. He's putting another city to the south. Uh, he needs uh, his um, uh, bigger or I should say bigger empire over here to uh, withstand and try to scale up. Uh, let me actually finish the prediction. So we got it, guys. We got it. Yes. Yes. He got it. He did it. Okay, let's go. Uh, next prediction. A managed prediction. Who will win? It's going to be a choice between SPA and Project Conquerors. For PCS. And I don't need to put up the team labels. I know. I know. Let me actually get that going. I got uh, distracted over here a little bit. So on the left side, we do have uh, PCS, Project Conquerors. And on the right side, we do have SPA, uh, Societe Protectrice des Animaux. Yeah, can we uh, hold the door? <laughs> That's a very good question. It can, uh... mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Honestly, I see... Uh, a relatively easy way for uh, Xifi to actually punch through this uh, northern uh, side. If uh, Hashki doesn't get walls and he needs two turns to actually get the walls up, uh, this is going to be uh, quite a problem. We do have uh, archers already getting over there. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Catapult soon, but uh, Hippastis are more than able to actually go through the encampment. Yeah, they're going to two-shot the encampment relatively easily. Uh, if he gets Victor plus three, he should. Let's see. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't see Victor plus 3 yet here. Anyway, um, we do need to take a look at the other bonuses. Catherine de Medici, Pembrush and Voice uh, Golden Age. We do have in 12 Science and 27 Culture. Uh, looks like uh, also what I was uh, pointing out that Lithoxa might actually go uh, la uh, how to say, um, on the coast. So he uh, goes and attacks uh, Angor Tom over there. It looks like he waited for his ancestral hall and uh, put the city of uh, Popayan down. Uh, he got a free builder and bam! Now uh, Kumerian Galley might actually come to disturb his peace over here. Uh, we do have... Uh, uh, let's Let's see, Alpha G, Alpha G, Alpha G. Three, uh, three series Alpha G. He got his government plots in a way that doesn't actually help anything. Oh my god, one single harbor? Why? Bro? Oh, I see, I see. He's going to put his uh, campus over here. Okay, at least uh, he's going to get a better campus, which he would have had anyway. Like, it's uh, plus five instead of plus four. We do have uh, Pingala established to the north, a plus uh, two between the rainforest over there and the mountains, and I do see a center coming out from Marseille. He does need to deal with this uh, Mapuche scout if he actually wants to keep the settler safe, and he's pumping out the horse there from Paris. Uh, Jeru coming up with 12 science and 19 culture. You can actually see the free seamers over here are actually keeping uh, the uh, stats as low as possible so they can uh, benefit uh, from uh, the higher tempo they're gonna have. And bam! He passed this, did it. He got through. He got through, guys. He's in. We got Hetaris over here that will get to uh, start attacking the back side units. The archers are going to be extremely vulnerable. And of course, the Hetaris um, will need to actually go towards uh, this tile. Uh, we do see the Hippast is also getting next to Vimayapuna. And uh, Hashke, he's still getting masonry. Uh, he does have, wait, he did have a builder. He needs a, uh, the builder over here on the stone tile. So he chops the walls. And bam, city of Vimayapura got put under siege. And bam, we do have on taking down one of the scouts and bam we got uh, the archer it got breached i gotta say this is again a, a problem with timing on the uh, hash case side because he didn't uh, manage to get to masonry in, in enough time and nor did he actually did manage to uh, so I, I would say the biggest mistake was the encampment so the encampment placement gave an opportunity for the hypostis to attack into it with a much stronger um, uh, combat strength than uh, he, uh, a horse would have had on the defense so uh unfortunately that actually kind of well settled the deal over here 
This is past. This is just gonna keep on uh, attacking into the city of uh, Vimayapura and uh, dealing more damage. We do have uh, the Hetaris uh, after they did manage to get the one uh, tile choke through. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna keep on going uh, to try to uh, take down that city. Is gonna go down fast if he does lose this city. Angor Tom is just gonna fall next. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's happening slowly, slowly, but it's happening. Okay, one of the Hetaris died. Okay, okay, we got some, we got some. Uh oh, wait, wait, he gave up on another tile. Move it. Oh my God, no, he gave up on another tile. So he made a, he made a sacrifice to actually take out one of the horses to uh, the northeast, one of those Hetaris. But unfortunately, he gave up on uh, the tile to the south. That is of an extremely strong tile. That is an extremely strong tile to benefit from. And the, uh, the ideal terrain and the river defense is going to make it uh, very hard for these horses to go against that. It's a bit of an issue here that the general is standing in the north instead of standing here the, the general should be here because it would give bonuses to uh, like the two tiles around it and it will um, it will help out much more i guess uh, he's gonna get a second general anyway wait he didn't no oh yes he did burika look at that where is, where is burika 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 where is burika wait Oh, no, he improved it into a military engineer. Oh, I see. I see what he's doing. He wants to actually get the the roads faster. That's uh, that's a bit unfortunate. He definitely should move the general. Like, the general really needs to be here, west of Vimayapura. But anyway, uh, let's move forward because I'm uh, losing a little bit of um, time over here to explain everything. Uh, we do have the harbors coming off from uh, Sparta. I, uh, you do see that he's making a lot of gold per turn, that uh, he can actually fund the wards over there on Hash K. Uh, 14 science with 22 culture. Uh, Moksha is going to establish in Athens. He's going to get his Acropolis going. A lot of culture will be acquired with his pen, brush, and voice. He's going to get uh, more points of gold, more points of uh, um, culture from each of these upgrades, uh, each of these districts. Yeah, I do see he's getting a few um, builders over here from his cities and with audience chamber his cities will grow a little bit uh, taller than usual. He does have about like maybe seven cities that he could settle easily. Did manage to take Kabul out before he, um, oh, sorry, after he did uh, build a district uh, an encampment and bam, another, no! Oh, see if he big mistake over there. He got, he got greedy, man. He got greedy. Instead of going and just sitting on that powerful tile he had, he wanted to take out a unit. And unfortunately, that is that is a mistake. That is a big mistake. That gives Hashk the opportunity to chop the walls down. Maybe you don't think it's that bad because yes, we do have Hippastis. We do have probably a, a battering ram that will uh, at some point show up uh, to help him out. But still, it's it's quite a mistake, I would say. And the city is not under siege. Anymore. Anymore. he uh yeah he, he doesn't have a unit to replace so mistakes on both sides it is what it is when it's at uh, war sometimes you get uh well you get challenged like that we got pre an attack a fast attack from april it looks like mongolia didn't actually go on the offense over here in the correct moment in time and speedy was not fast enough to uh, distract mapuche from attacking into khmer april is going to try to go for the kill here on uh, a few cities from the southeast forcing hash gate to split his units between the defense in the north and the defense in the south now uh, what can he chop the jungle yes uh he can block the jungle you mean this one he can block it there's no way uh lucid Verstand also good evening sir he has uh, a me he active he has me he activated oh 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 military engineer yes yes that's true that's true i saw it i saw it but a little bit later than i wanted to uh Litox are coming up with uh, simon bolivar already on two four six seven cities two four six seven cities he didn't manage to take over uh, brussels and of course you do see the horses uh, you do see an eighth actually settler coming up over here to the east of maracaibo we do have uh, the first galleys also coming up from popayan and uh, i do notice he's uh, pumping out a new a wave of uh, builders after he did manage to get another one of these settlers here so got his production kept his stats low uh then uh went for expansion aggressive expansion because he's a simmer and now he's actually gonna go up in stats you can uh, you can uh, see over here litoxa is not that big in stats like 20 and 36 and that's mostly coming from his uh, population rather than anything else uh he did uh, manage to take over um, like a plug-in moksha in the city of quito the reason that he's actually benefiting from a little bit more culture uh, but now well he's just gonna explode he gonna get it. The feudalism um, timing is extremely important in the game as well uh, to actually get those um, uh, builder charges, the extra builder charges on uh, your units. And I gotta say, Xifi over here uh, did not actually uh, bring that many units to the fight. I think he needs a lot more units here. 
I, I'm thinking he definitely needed like at least three more Hataris and it does look like he didn't trade well with uh, Khmer. Uh, we do have uh, Priaviar. Okay. Uh, Epul. 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 Okay. He, I think he managed to kill a unit here. I'm not convinced though. But anyway. Uh, Novak. Scythia. Four cities. He's now on uh, 13 science with 30 culture. He's getting his wave of builders going. I'm thinking maybe he did manage. No, he did He did not. He's on drama and poetry. And we do have him with uh, Pingala establishing in Comstrom Sky. He's going to get a level 1 campus. Yeah, it does look like a level 1. Yeah. And uh, by the looks of it, he did manage to get a level 2 over here uh, to the north of Neapolis. Uh, Pokorovka does only have a level 2 over here. No, actually... One, two, three, and four. Oh, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, and three. Yeah, it's it's a three. Never mind. He does need to chop the stone tile. Now, he does have uh, lighthouses uh, coming up from Tolstaya. And I do see, of course, he did get the builder. He did choose to go for a penbrush and voice. And uh, yeah, that's the stone tile that he's going to get to chop. He does need also several population to get that uh, going. Uh, and uh, there we go. There we go. You see how that little tile over there actually set the deal. Oh my god. Oh oh my god. Oh my god, man. I have to assume they knew Khmer is gonna die. Uh, Khmer did get defender, yes. And uh, oh my god, Sifi. Your units, bro. Like. Uh, the little details, man. The little details. Like positioning of the general, giving up on the 2 2 tile over here to the south, uh, giving an opportunity to uh, Hashke to chop the walls, uh, delaying, uh, getting the siege, uh, like uh, allowing the city to get out from under siege. All of those little details matter so much in the conclusion of this. Uh, we do have um, Apul also coming up with uh, two, four cities. Now he's putting down his campuses. He knows he's going to need this, uh, to get the science. 21 science with 40 culture. He did uh, get Governor Pingala and Pikun Mapu and chose to go for a Pembrush and Voice. Spearman coming out from Angulu Mapu. He's going to need to put up uh, quite a defense over here against the upcoming uh, units from Mongolia from the east side. I'm, we're pretty sure that Spear is going to get uh, really quickly to stirrups and I'm pretty sure he's going to have also um, uh, quite a bit of production to use at the moment he's on 56 while we do have april on 54 not that big of a difference between them i also noticed god of open sky did get picked up over here by mapuche uh he is uh, getting a few more extra um, uh, culture points from all of these improved pastures would have definitely seen uh, the production a lot more valuable over here stone circles than the culture but anyway it is what it is now we do have uh, xifi also with 11 science with 22 culture minus two gold a turn uh, xifi is uh, basically in a nirel war over here with khmer khmer is uh, deploying these units uh, outside of his territory uh, towards the west of Vimayapura. tried to attack into the macedonian uh, back line and of course he did ma did manage to do significant damage we do have uh, a catapult being chopped out and i'm pretty sure he's gonna uh, try to use it uh, from here from the east and uh, from the north of Vimayapura, so he can can attack into uh, the city center with uh, much more strength he does have a significant challenge which i'm not sure if he's uh, gonna get it first of all this is a hill he can't actually shoot from this side to the other side of uh, the hill over there with uh, 80 units so he can actually deal more damage against the comedian defenses so he has only one tile of attack that initial breach was extremely good was extremely good he did manage to get this going unfortunately Bef because he lost the highway to resupply to use his resupply chain behind the cities of Vimayapura and didn't put more production into his uh, units and so on and so forth that actually allowed Khmer to come back into the game get his chops going get more units on the foreground uh, get more uh, get uh, get uh, the heteroids uh, etaris I should say uh, get them uh, down in strength and uh, in numbers um yeah, Khmer lost the city to the south. This was uh, easy to predict over here. And of course, HK is going to have a significant problem. Yasu Darapura might actually be next on the chopping block. I'm a very uh, surprised that Mapuche chose to keep the city. Or did he? I don't know if he chose to keep the city. Maybe delete the city, please. April, delete city. 
he definitely needs to go against okay there we go he did it at the city so he has promotions on uh, one horse uh, no promotion here he should actually go against Yasudarapura next with uh, his upcoming horses the in city over there is uh, quite low in um, garrison defense strength and because he's in a floodable terrain it's much uh, easier to go against it uh, we don't have any reaction here from alpha g or any major reaction he did use just one horse to uh, put into mapuche which i gotta say did stop the two horses from keep uh, from uh, moving to the north and resupplying uh, the army here okay catapults catapults this uh, hetari is uh, this hetari is gonna die oh my god he's gonna get it back uh, check this out he's gonna get it back he's gonna get back his encampment put it uh, to repair and uh well hash k has this in the back what can I say? Uh, what they uh, will have a major problem to deal with is uh, Lithoxa. Lithoxa over here, with, um, first of all, has the ability to uh, get a lot of strong units in the mid game. Uh, yes, he has uh, Mapuche on the east side. Yes, he has a lot of cities, so he's going to scale very well in the next part. Uh, while uh, we don't see the same thing happening from Gorgo on the other side, Jeru over here does have five cities of his own. Uh, he's not getting pushed by Scythia, by Novak from the south. Uh, both of them are actually getting a decent amount of gold for their team, while the science on Jeru at the moment is just not there he's gonna need to uh, wait for the seven pop four pop in uh, some of his cities to actually uh, seven pop actually he's prioritizing getting his uh, acropolis is going instead of uh, getting for some more science points he does have a few locations that would be uh, nice for science a uh, plus three over here to the north of uh, Argos I do see Eretria only a plus one unfortunately a uh, Sparta maybe a plus two yeah it's going to be a plus uh, three, actually. Wait, it's a plus three over here on the uranium tile because of these uh, two rainforest tiles. Okay, not bad. Uh, Kabul also has uh, one either between the mountains or to the north over there next to the reef tile. Now we do have also Novak uh, starting to get quite a few. Um, uh, first of all, uh, galleys out. It looks like he's uh, going east side. And I gotta say, um, Scythia over here uh, does have an ally, Simon Bolivar, on the other side of the, the coast. Uh, they did not uh, meet. Oh, they did meet uh, on the west side. They did meet, first of all, Mongolia has two cities coastal. And we do have a full coastal uh, France, or almost coastal, full coastal because Ren is over here and yeah there we go April going for uh, he smelled the weakness in Yasuda Rapura and he's gonna attack into it how did this happen I am so confused right now how did this happen I think you can see my confusion on my face over here was it because he needed to redeploy a horse over there from the north to the east my C no, I'm pretty sure it didn't happen by C. I don't know, man. Macedon will eventually win regardless. He is overpowered. He gets science out of thin air. Will hit knights uh, way faster than uh, Khmer. Let's see if that's happening. We do have a uh, speedy coming of three tens from knights, and it looks like uh, Xifi over here is uh, getting machinery in three, getting a few more hipastes to uh, keep on banging on the doorstep of Vimayapura. And of course, uh, Xifi is uh, gonna get the military engineers to create the pathways uh, for the resupply chain. Uh, yes, valuable pretty valuable now we're going to see if he's actually going to make it work uh Khmer simply doesn't have nearly enough units to deal with everyone who's pushing him uh i mean yeah i, I know I, I so don't get me wrong i know what happened here to the south he can't do anything about it but it was extremely important to keep Macedon at bay and losing that one tile over there it, it might actually make uh, like a bit of difference between winning or losing the whole war faster or later because maybe maybe he's gonna lose the whole war right maybe he's gonna lose his empire the every turn that he keeps his cities or keeps being in the game it's giving his allies an opportunity to help out uh, a little more and it looks like uh, he did manage to uh, save Yasudarapura here. At what cost? But he did manage to uh, save it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I think. Uh, oh, oh, okay. We got uh, we got quite a few things happening here. Okay. Hanging gardens coming up from Bogota. We do have uh, ten more turns until the next World Congress. Uh, Why are you playing on both sides? Cote is sides, right? Then, or are you playing on two sides? Anyway, 
it is what it is. Uh, horde attacked and died. The horde, the Mongolian horde. Yes, I think I think they they did they did very bad things over there to the Khmerian people. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, okay, let's see uh, the timings. Two turns uh, for Speedy to get his tier ups. Did he manage to get his orders? Yes, in two of his encampments. I do see uh, he's getting an encampment training project coming up from Kola Korum. And uh, as you can see, he did build up a wall of throne over here. He's going to get to pump out those units quite fast. We do have uh, Apul managing to get to 28 science and 48 culture with uh, that 10 brush and voice. Uh, he's now uh, seven turns away from his unique unit uh, castles. And of course, I do see uh, feudalism coming up in one from him. Uh, we do need to see if he's going to manage to uh, do something very important over here. Man Manage to get to uh, metal, uh, to military what tactics? I, I believe it's military tactics, right? Th this one. He needs to get to pikemen. I, I don't think he can um, survive with just manons. He needs pikemen. And I'm. Uh, this is one of the surprises I have. Castles is bottom three. Military tactics is top three. Then uh, uh, you you see them here. So he definitely needs military tactics more than he needs um, castles. Uh, maybe France help him, but not alone. Uh, will Mongolia kill the Mapuche? That's uh, that's a very good question. I don't know. Hey, yeah. Oh my God, he lost another unit here. No, like this. This, this is like oh, we, we see a lot of problems. I uh, and you know what these problems are actually um, all about? Unit count. There's nothing more, nothing less than unit count. Unit count, man. It, it's just. Well, it is what it is. He just need, needs to keep on going, I guess. And we do have stirrups coming up next turn from Speedy. And I do see um, we do have France actually getting a galley next to the city of Neapolis. That city is uh, 30 strength, so it's uh, going to survive a little while longer. But the um, harbor is going to get pillaged. We do have also some of these uh, admirals starting to appear. Let's actually take a quick pick on what's happening here. We do have seven great admiral points on Scythia. Greece went for six. We got uh, France on five. Uh, we do have uh, in the merchant screen only Grand Colombia making these uh, merchants. And he did manage to get the internal trade route one. The first one, Zankian. Now, uh, there are two more available in Fadland and uh, Marco Polo. It looks like uh, in the scientist screen, we do have five points for Mongolia. Gran Colombia is on 3.4. Scythia is on two points. Uh, Mapuche on four. And uh, they're starting to reveal this quite quickly. It looks like, uh, yeah, we got a problem here. Hypatia didn't uh, come up. Uh, Novak is going to go for Stonehenge. He's going to get a religion here relatively quickly. And I do see he keeps on building up his uh, lighthouses uh, so he can get that going. I'm quite surprised. Oh, he still needs uh, three uh, more turns for the seventh population. I'm quite surprised he actually put a mine on the tile. That he's uh, probably gonna put a campus now we do have a campus uh, being put down from uh, tolstaya that's a plus three we do have the plus one uh, finished in constant as well uh, next turn uh, getting a religion is gonna give him more era score points and of course uh, some benefits from the religion maybe uh, he's uh, gonna have something oh my god man like th this is a disaster here this is a this hash k can actually push the cities uh-oh uh-oh I think Khmer kills Alexander. It might be. I mean, it might be. Ave Machiavelli, what do you think of this? Is Sifi doing everything in his power to make the game last longer? He can't be... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Sifi is not that bad. I... Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah, he got distracted by something. I don't know. We do have uh, Hanging Gardens coming up from uh, Quito. I do see uh, Litoxa keeps on, uh, uh, he's trying to build the Stonehenge, but he's not uh, going to be allowed to actually finish it. Of course, we've seen uh, one turn away is Scythia getting it on the others. Wait, aren't they on the same team? They are on the same team. 
Oh my god, they had the same idea, but no communication over here. Unfortunate for uh, Lithoxa. It is what it is. Uh, we do have... Uh, that's a lot of production that he's going to lose here. Now, we do have uh, also Gran Colombia getting his uh, builders to improve some of it, the tiles. He really wants uh, Bogota to be a higher uh, population city, so he got the farms in the south here. He built. Uh, Kumana is starting to put down uh, campuses, and uh, I do see another city got settled uh, on the coast, uh, allowing him to actually get some boats out. I do see uh, Lithoxa at the moment is uh, still trying to build up his uh, science and, of course, the um, culture count he does have 135 production his aggressive opening with uh, delaying his stance with uh, building up uh, his uh, production capabilities look at that they're gonna come to fruition in just a few turns over here we're gonna see him explode uh, very very quickly he has 48 gold per turn he can uh, actually get uh, quite a few stats Maracaibo is gonna get the Temenanki in a city that has so many floodable terrain tiles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 tiles 12 tiles of uh, extra production and extra science over there in just one city now uh, very very nice now we do have also the first uh Keshex coming around uh, to fight over here against papuche and uh, we do have a general force period as well timur is showing up uh, on the armies of uh, mongolia looks like he got deployed to the north uh, he managed to try to go against the mapuche's uh, northern armies instead of the east and oh my god see if he might die well, we do have Hippastis coming up from Manga. We got uh, Pella also bringing uh, new Hetaris uh, to the table. He did manage to get those uh, trade routes going to the south over here. And I think, I think, actually, honestly, I think the military engineer definitely didn't help. Like the military engineer, uh, didn't he die? I think that he died. The military engineer died. So he, I think he got a little bit too complicated with his attack instead of pumping units. He just needed to pump units and make sure those units were strong enough. And I think it would have been more valuable to actually have the general uh, have two sides, like one general to the north, one general to the south, and keep on uh, uh, building units here. That, that was his only mission. Build units. Take out opponent. That's it. You know? I can't wait for the Colombian helicopters. Oh, that's very late in the game. I don't know if the game is gonna go that long, man. Uh, but yeah, yeah, let's let's go. Uh, Alexander dead. I I'm not that convinced. I mean, there are a lot of uh, possibilities here, and of course, uh, it, it does look like with the Hetaris uh, coming up from the north, uh, these units of uh, Khmer might actually uh, die relatively quickly over here. Uh, we do need to see if he's uh, gonna get this going. Oh my God, he passed his dead over there. Oh no! Oh my God, he's gonna lose a guy. Oh my God! I don't know, man. I I I try to be positive over here. We'll see. It looks like methone here is. Uh, wait, is this crossbow? Okay, crossbow technology it definitely will help. Uh, but he needs something in the garrison of I guy, and he doesn't have it. And this uh, general he needs to move to the north. To give the extra bonus to the Hetari. To the Hetari. 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 Anyway. Um, uh, I don't I don't really want to talk about uh, micro moves here. I feel like I'm uh, getting lost in a lot of details. And uh, we shouldn't have that. Uh, why the nerdy? Hello there, sir. I've been quietly rooting for Khmer this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine, man. Also, Bomdia Bex. How are you doing, sir? Uh, Kekshes are here already. Hopefully, he gives Mapuche a run for his money. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Mapuche uh, kept on going for his... Um, uh I want to say for his Malons instead of for his Cassas technology. Instead of going for... Uh, his top one. He's getting commercials out. I mean, he, he does need it. So, he needs currency. He needs mathematics. And he needs military tactics. He's very far away. This was uh, a little bit like, uh, I would say, easy to predict what uh, Mongolia is going to do. Uh, because, first of all, you saw the encampments. And, and do they see the encampments? I hope they see the encampments. Let me actually take a look. Yeah, they, they do see at least one encampment with an Ordu in it. So, you know, that was uh, relatively easy. Uh, and uh, second of all, I'm pretty sure uh, he, they would have seen uh, him making general points. And uh, sec uh, third of all, they saw him have the science. Uh, you, you know, it was easy. Uh, sorry. sorry, guys. My uh, my grandma is not feeling well and I, I need to pay attention to uh, like, uh, her and stuff like that. Um... Oh, yeah. 
anyway, uh, we do have uh, Eternan. He finished on the Thoxa. He's uh, going to get all of those um, uh, points of uh, production and uh, science that I uh, mentioned earlier. We do have Entertainment Complex Amia from Bogota. Uh, looks like uh, Lithoxa getting the builders out as well to uh, improve his tiles. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are actually benefiting from the plus two charges from feudalism. Yeah, there we go. With uh, We do have some of them on four. Uh, we do have the first industrials uh, put down and it's not what I was thinking. Yeah, I was definitely thinking he's going to get the industrials uh, to the northwest here. It looks like he's putting them uh, to the southeast and that's only going to be a plus two over there between the mountains instead of a possible two plus fours. Uh, he could have aqueducted the um, uh, northwestern tiles of Quito and the southeastern tile of uh, Bogota to get those industrial zones over here. I'm a bit uh, surprised about this, but uh, this is uh, unfortunately going to eat into his uh, later on production. Now we do have uh, Gorgo also with a uh, boat count. I do see him uh, actually benefiting from quite a few galleys. Uh, this might be the reason that uh, Novak is uh, getting a lot of uh, galleys out with um, animals on his side. So he tries to go against uh, Greece. Even though I honestly believe this uh, might be a mistake of a target. Um, I think uh, even though uh, France would have been a little bit uh, further on, it was a much better target to go against. Uh, this is where a majority of their economy is being generated over here between Alpha G and Speedy. 64 gold with 24 and uh, most of it is coming from uh, external trade routes. Uh, we do have to take a look at the era score here. Four turns uh, to go until the next uh, golden age. We do have four more boats coming up from Scythia. He did put down that campus. Waste the mine. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He got a little bit of production back. The city of I guy survive a little while longer. And uh, we do have him with a... Oh no, he's going to lose the crossbow inside of it. And uh, he passed this next time. That's going to be a problem. That is a problem. Oh man, that uh, that crossbow. He's, is he gonna shift enter it? It looks like he's shift entering it away. That's uh, yeah. What can I say, man? Hash K just built units. He lost the city to the southeast. It is what it is, but then just needed to build units. Uh, we do have him on 11 science and 22 culture. He never scaled. Only 14 uh, faith a turn also never scaled up. Uh, on the other side, we do have a decent amount of uh, science and culture. I do see Lithox on 58 and 70, while Alpha G is the designated seamer by the looks of it. Two, four, five cities on his side. They're starting to get his chateaus going. We do have him on 84 gold and 62 production. This is a major difference, and you can see immediately how this uh, play out when it comes to the production capabilities of uh, uh, like of them uh, Lithoxna is gonna get faster more stats than uh, his opponent because of the capabilities that he has uh, throughout his territory uh, versus, uh, because of the more cities because of the placement of his uh, districts and his um, um, how to say chosen tempo so I guess that's another thing that um, I should say, even though I don't have a clear definition of uh, different tempos, but I think there are different categories of tempo. I, I you, you get faster tempos, medium tempos, uh, slower tempos, and so on on each side. And um, I don't think uh, you can actually judge, like say, it's going to be one ideal tempo every time uh, on the games. It really is depending on what you need to do during the game. Uh, I don't know why Gorgo isn't settling anymore. Uh, I think he wants to get his science up and he needed to dedicate more uh, production towards his um, growing of cities and then the campuses uh, because he wants to hit the uh, caravel timing. By the looks of it, he's going for Batres. And the uh, caravel timing is actually quite hard to hit if you're uh, spamming out cities because the production you put into settlers, like five, seven, six, seven turns of uh, training, uh, you should actually put into uh, getting campuses down and uh, boats and so on. You, you can't do boats. Both. You definitely can't do both. Um, it, it doesn't look like CTI is going to have the major uh, navy here, and he's going to build boats on the west side, on, on the east side, uh, getting a few uh, land units as well, while uh, putting uh, six cities to the north. Uh, looks like he got a religion, Catholicism, that's uh, divine inspiration with sacred places, getting a few stats from that. And um, he is... Two turns away from Batras, one turn away from mercenaries. So he's going to get to upgrade those uh, boats with uh, the half cost uh, quite easily over there. Uh, when the Xifi need the escape settler, I don't think he can escape from this. I mean, he kind of needs it now, but I don't think... I mean, to be honest, even even though Lithoxa is getting extremely big, I find it unlikely they're going to get to... He's going to get to win the game looking at what's going on. So Novak has a high 
possibility that he will attack Gorgo, but he cannot cannot break Gorgo altogether. Like he cannot, he will probably take a long time to actually break Gorgo over there in the north. Uh, Mongolia has a really really big opportunity over here to take out Mapuche. It looks like he's not choosing to go through the one tile two tile chokes over here. He's gonna try to go into open territory. Well, Mapuche actually deployed a few Malo Raiders, and yes, these Malo Raiders do deal quite a bit of damage against the Keshex. Uh, he, he did start to upgrade them from those horses, and as you can see, he's uh, uh, he should be switching. He sh yeah, he's uh, one turn away from getting military tactics. We do need to see if these Keshex will manage to deal the damage against his opponent uh, to um, keep these Malo Raiders at uh, bay. Well, era score, very important era score. Uh, 52.58, we do have hash K, uh, six points out from uh, getting a golden age. Speedy is uh, over the necessary points. We got Alpha G uh, three points away from getting his golden age. And by the looks of it, he's getting boats. He's getting uh, harbor shipping projects. He wants to build up a navy here. He did get an armor for his boats. And uh, I do see Rajendra Kola got picked up by Scythia as well. Um, we do have uh, Jeru uh, over the necessary points for the golden age. Lithoxa, uh, 72.65. We do have Novak also 50. 5958, uh, APL 4249, uh, and we do have uh, CV 4855. Uh, okay, so uh, APL going dark, uh, going normal. I'm sorry, going normal age. APL going normal age, and then CV going normal age. Oh, I mean, CV over here. I don't know, man. This is a disaster. This is a disaster, and I gotta point out, man, the, like if you. If you go for it play by play and you see the little like decisions that made this world go so differently than we imagined, it's unbelievable. Wow, wow. I mean, I, I can't believe it. I, I honestly I'm I'm stumped right now. Um I wonder if the light cap for plus five against rage units gives that bonus against uh cash eggs. Um no. Light calf plus five. I don't think so. Aren't Keshex uh, considered the uh, uh, calf units? I think they're considered calf units because they do get the spearmen. I honestly, this is yeah, th this is a good question. I don't think they get it, but uh, yeah. It would be uh, quite a good question over there. We do have uh, Mapuche actually not standing around. He's trying to uh, go and attack his opponent here, and yes, he's uh, getting his Keshex. Um, Getting closer to the Keshex while Spirit did not uh, get the opportunity to attack. It was the last move and it looks like um, uh, he did manage to take out two of the units of his opponent while uh, he's bringing up uh, only three of these uh, uh, Mano Raiders. It looks like, uh, well, one died. Kick. <laughs> the power of the Keshex. You shouldn't underestimate the Keshex, man. Like horses, one thing. Keshex, no. Oh, no. I don't see... I don't see Speedy over here turning into Keshex Factory. I know he wants to be relevant in the next era, but, uh, well, if he wants to guarantee an, an attack against his opponent, he wants to turn in... He needs to turn into a Keshex Factory. I come back and, whoa, what happened? I know, right? Like, uh, this is crazy. This is crazy. We got Hash K over here pushing in through CP's uh, Macedonian defense. And Setaris are coming out from uh, Mathon, from Pella, trying to help out the defense. There's still a Trunk Truck and the Ethelfred on the battlefield over here for him to use. And uh, it does look like this uh, Etaris. Um, uh, can still do quite a bit of damage against the units of uh, Khmer. Uh, he is, uh, he's not, uh, he's not punishing Khmer over here for his encroachment. Oh my God. Oh well, uh, we do have uh, harbor shipping projects also coming up from Jeru. He did build a major navy over here between uh, Kabul and Argos. And uh, you do see quite a bit of a navy from Scythia. Now the Scythian boasts to benefit from an extra plus 5 against uh, wounded units. Uh, which uh, of course uh, will also benefit from um, the Admiral. He does have Rajendra Kola. Okay, I gotta say uh, would be would be quite nice if he can get another one there. Mm, the sleeping dragon is Colombia. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm very curious how Colombia is going to want to play this. I, uh, I, I think Lictoxa is a good player. And yes, he's getting Colosseum. He's, getting, he's trying to go for the later on gameplay. I'm not that convinced he actually is aware of all of that's happening on the map. He does have almost 200 production with uh, 83 science, 82 culture. Uh, biggest issue is uh, who is uh, he's, uh, he going to attack over here. And uh, especially since uh, Mapuche is not going to be pressure that badly by Mongolia uh, because again it looks like Speedy is not uh, fully turning into Keshek Factory to attack into his opponent uh, this might um, become a mistake a very very bad mistake over here 
Oh well. Uh, does Cynthia not have apprenticeship? Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. No, he doesn't. Two, two tiles. He doesn't have apprenticeship. Uh, what is it? Tech side? Fortens cartography. He's actually quite late on this. Uh, he's at the same time as Gorgo. Now we do have also Alpha G going for his uh, cartography and the Baruch that he's putting down uh, uh, in camp as well. There is a possibility for him uh, to actually go with Guard Imperials against APU later on in the game. And uh, I think uh, we're going to, need to see Gran Colombia go for very late timings if he actually wants to uh, get this war going. Yes. What is this uh, industrial zone here? Yes, it's still a plus two. Oh my god, like, okay, sure. He's going to get some some advantages from this aqueduct uh okay didn't build one from uh, bogota bogota got uh, capped over here in his uh, population 12 population he started to put down uh, harbors okay Oh, I see. I see now. So uh, Novak actually wants to keep as much as possible Greece uh, in check. Uh, so uh, he doesn't actually attack his ally over here, Grand Colombia. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a little bit more sense in my mind. I don't know why for some reason I didn't think about it earlier, but it is what it is. Um, basically all in on Khmer, then Defender and the Counter-Attack. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Well, you see, you never uh, call out the GG earlier, man. You you need to see all of the moves over there. The moves and the grooves. This is quite a... Oh, oh, we got two minutes of pause here. We got, we're going to have two minutes of pause uh, for the Congress. Let me actually uh, get these going and uh, we're going to come back uh, really quickly here. Uh, then Catholicism. Oh, I go B. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Oh. Silk. So Catholicism, Silk. Uh.
Bam, bam, we're back. Does it end? No, it doesn't. I think I actually answered that. Let's actually see what happened in the World Congress. Let me put my headphones in, plug myself into uh, the Matrix over here. We do have uh, Catholicism going for the plus 10. Looks like Marble uh, granting uh, more amenities. Uh, duplicates of uh, Marble will grant more amenities. And uh, Jeru with Gorgo did get the Diplo points. Uh, interesting uh, choice over here for Jeru. And uh, by the looks of it, we do have him with uh, Oracle in the city of Sparta. He's uh, starting to acquire a decent amount the fuck wait did he just finish that oh he doesn't have oh my god he doesn't have actually an acropolis from the city of sparta he never got to temp pop and he chose of course uh, to go for the science which makes sense oh my god why is he building so many boats here is he actually gonna build uh, a connection city or something i do see a settler is he, where is he going is he i think he's actually gonna build a connection city to the west he might want to help out uh, france uh, stay alive uh, he's probably thinking that um, novak is actually gonna go against him with um, a fleet uh, novak does have uh, two of these admirals uh, himerius on the east side and the rachentra Kola on the west uh, both of them are capable of uh, giving him uh, points uh, let's actually see over here. We do have uh, Khmer. Okay. Macedon is uh, still going to be alive for, for quite a little while uh, longer. Uh, HK is on 8 science and 17 culture. We do have uh, Xifio 19 and 18. He actually did manage to get uh, more science with the help of Pingala. And of course, uh, whenever he's uh, taking out units, uh, he's getting quite a bit of science. He also is uh, benefiting from uh, the um, basically paid. So whenever he's building up uh, units, he's uh, getting some more. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Monzrath, good evening, son, and welcome. You made it. Woohoo! Let's go. Uh, we are. Uh, you, you came right on time, man. We do have uh, April. Um, we're defending against Mongolia's uh, Kishex. It looks like uh, we do have Mongolia also starting to get a few knights. Uh, this is not an army that we were expecting. Looks like Mongolia might be thinking of uh, seeming a little bit more than actually uh, full inning Mapuche, and that will prolong the game uh, quite a bit over here. <laughs> we do have uh, Timur as a general appearing uh, in Kurakoto. He probably got pushed back from the northwest while um he did manage to get to two four six cities hash cake went for uh, normal age unfortunately speedy and golden age he's in a uh, pen and voice uh, golden age uh, we do have uh, alpha g also appearing uh, to get to 100 science with 45 culture chose to go for a free inquiry and benefits from uh, the science from his harbors we got jeru 85 science with 53 culture with a free inquiry golden age of his own uh, and of course uh, he did manage to get um, very close to cartography one turn away from getting cartography just as alpha g is in cartography next turn i think actually there aren't that many boats here how many boats does he have uh, two four six seven uh, eight nine ten eleven twelve okay that's that's enough that's enough actually i'm i'm sorry i stand corrected he has 12 boats it's enough he's getting his quadrims pre-built uh, from uh, multiple cities and he's gonna uh, go and uh, try to finish a scythia off it's very hard to actually attack into a scythian uh, opponent um, but i guess we're going to need to see how successful he will be in his uh, endeavors uh, especially scythia does have the opportunity to go against uh, greece here now uh, we do have um, Lithoxa, free inquiry golden age this time, 139 cents with 64 culture, uh, using uh, his commercials, uh, commercial and harbor count to actually get this going, um, building up his aqueducts for more production, he's the first one to actually have 232 production in the game, and of course you do see the major difference between him and other players, so we do have him with um, the theater square coming up from Maracaibo, he did finish his... Um, Colosseum, which gives him a plus six happiness level in the capital, with plus three in other cities. Not bad. He's benefiting from a significant amount of advantages there. Hansa just got taken down. Where was Hansa? Over here, south of uh, Mapuche. He just got um, extra amenities from that and a plus four uh, possible campus spot to the south. And it looks like we might actually have a pause here. Alpha G is asking for a pause mid turn. Okay, next turn, not this turn. Okay, we do have uh, also Scythia coming up with 99 science and uh, 45 culture, 246 cities uh, for him. Uh, he uh, is uh, getting spied upon from uh, France. Alpha G is going to try to get as many advantages as he can on his boats. Of course, uh, with a plus 3 Intel uh, coming up on these galleys, he's going to have um, a bit of an advantage. Definitely needs printing, but I think both of them are going to go printing, to be honest if i uh, if i say so anyway uh, we do have uh, lotaro with a normal age and now uh, he can still de deal the damage against kenshex uh, and uh, catherine de medici's units with um, the plus five against the golden age units uh he's just not gonna have uh, the bonuses that he would require uh, to attack into them uh, 
uh, to scale up with his uh, science and culture. Now we do have also Xifi, a last one up over here with the 19 science and 18 culture. Uh, still trying to build up a military and uh, keep uh, Khmer in check. I do think uh, yes, crossbows are going to need to be uh, uh, to appear over here on uh, his um, backline, so he deals the damage against these uh, units from uh, his opponent. Looks like he really wants to uh, push through this. Uh, Khmer lost another city? Oh yeah, he did. Wait, how did this city die? Oh, Mapuche Mano Raiders. Heck. Lol. Okay. Well, that city died. He got the walls in Angor Tom, though. Interesting. I, I don't know how this city died, honestly. Like, I understand Mapuche Mano Raiders, but uh, to be honest, there were like a few French courses over there anyway. So I'm very curious how did it die. Okay. Interesting. Uh, he attacked and misplayed and he lost. SPA seems uh, almost lost. What's wrong with Macedon? Uh, yeah. Oh, he got distracted, man. I, I blame distraction. I know somebody, something distracted him. I don't know what it was, but it definitely f f feels that way. Oh well, uh, Lithoks are getting a Forbidden City somewhere, we do have uh, libraries coming out from Angulumapu, looks like uh, we do have the pause. So, guys, we're coming back in uh, 5 minutes, uh, where is it, 52, this is XX52, we're gonna come back at XX57, uh, let me actually put a timer over here, I think I can put a timer on the screen, uh, did not I have a timer on the screen, yes I did, okay, uh, 5 minutes. Actually, let's go for four minutes and that's it. Come back, guys. See you in a bit.
Bam, bam, bam. And also PCS has more money than SPA. Let me actually uh, take a look at the numbers over here. We're coming back for one minute until we actually start this. Let's see. Uh, yields, 49.90 and 4. I pull and uh, let's see if you are not making gold. We do have 27, 58 and 75 on the other side. Hash K is losing 90 gold. Uh, so, yeah, they're making a little bit more money. Did you say they have more money in the bank? They just spent their money. Uh, okay. France actually is uh, going to get a significant advantage over here with his um, fleet going against Scythia. And uh, Scythia, by the looks of it, uh, doesn't actually have the opportunity to uh, chop some gold. Maybe this uh, crab tile is going to give him something. Uh, he's uh, moving all of his fleet to the north and by the looks of it, uh, Jeru is going to be on the chopping block. They don't have that much gold to uh, actually upgrade these boats. And I'm pretty sure uh, the Scythian cannibals uh, will deal uh, quite a bit of damage he needs to be careful how he's gonna play this and of course uh, try to get the envelope promotion on his units so he uh, gets the success going uh is this an, yes this is an official two versus one push against city i don't know if it's a push from both sides because it does look like um on one side we do have a uh, jeru actually uh, defending himself rather than attacking and on the other side we do have uh France over here trying yes to attack his opponent like uh, let me actually take a look at the damage points Damage points against Caravel. This 75 75. Not bad, actually. He can uh, triple hit the Caravel and take it down. Not bad. Okay. We're getting the team plus. Let me actually turn off uh, the timer over here. Oh, look at that. We were right on time on this one. Kick W. I uh, guess my ice cream will have to keep on melting for the time being. Wait, wait a second. You're actually waiting for uh, a, a war or something or the. The game to end for the ice cream, to eat the ice cream. I mean, it makes sense, you know. Wait, is, uh, I did know. Khmer lost another city. Yes, indeed. Helicopter kicker. Thank you for uh, reminding me of that. Uh, he attacked and misplayed, you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. You know, at some point, I actually uh, did uh, like, force myself uh, to um, only eat after I got my job done. You know, you know that strategy? You basically like uh, reward your, uh, uh, how to say, your body for uh, getting a job done to actually make yourself work a little bit more. <laughs> Kick W, man. That was like, I don't know, when I was like 28 or 27, I was doing this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, details, man. Details. It is what it is. Okay, so uh, we will see next time probably the moves uh, coming up from um, both Scythia and Greece. There are quite a few exposed galleys over here that might take the uh, the initial um, attacks of the Scythian boats. Uh, uh, Scythia does not have actually a spy inside of his opponent's cities. And looking at his tech side over here, you know, we do have uh, Scythia going for square rigging and exploration. Exploration he wants uh, for the press gang card, and I'm pretty sure press gang's card, and I'm pretty sure he wants square rigging so he can get some of those. Um, uh, frigates going. Uh, he's gonna require Niter and uh, looking at their uh, army tab over here, we do not have anybody making Niter from their side. That's a bit of a problem. On the other side, we do have Genghis Khan making Niter and he did manage to uh, keep at bay Mapuche on the west side. Unfortunately, he couldn't uh, put enough pressure on Mapuche, so uh, Apul doesn't actually get the city of Khmer over here. Now we do have uh, also crossbows coming out from the cities of uh, Macedon. They're going to need to actually help him uh, deal the damage against uh, the units of Khmer. And uh, as you can see, one of the encampments did get uh, taken down. Uh, Hash K is still uh, keeping that swordsman alive there. Now he does have a promotion. If he is uh, fast on the clicks, uh, he can actually get it away uh, is for, uh, to safety. But no, Xifi was just much faster with uh, the trebuchet to attack into it and uh, take it down. In the tech side over here, we do have uh, Xifi going for a apprenticeship in two turns. I can't really you see he has a lot of mines improved we will see the first uh, initial attacks uh, coming up from Scythia. Looks like uh, Greece did manage to make a wall of uh, caravels, so he doesn't uh, allow these caravels to be triple hit by his opponent. I do have to point out uh, the moment none of the caravels uh, put, being put on the front line here are uh, damaged, so uh, Scythia doesn't actually get his um, uh, plus five against them. He does need to attack them a little bit, just a, little, a tiny bit, just, just a scratch, and he's going to have his uh, plus five activated. 
Now we do have also a defensive uh, screen over here of boats uh, to the west of Naples. Well, of course, we do have uh, the French uh, fleet uh, starting to come around from the north of Cochiacota uh, around that uh, peninsula to try to go against uh, the Scythian boats. Uh, Scythia is uh, putting a caravel to watch what's going on to the northwest. While uh, I do see uh, Lee Ferrickson is going to help uh, the French boats have a little bit more strength. We do have um, Himerius on uh, Scythia and he did manage to get enough gold to upgrade uh, all of his units uh, from the west side. And so let's see how many boats do we have on each side. We had two, four, six, eight, ten on uh, Scythia. Well, we do have uh, two, four, uh, six on uh, Greece with a lot more upgrades available for him. It is a matter of uh, time until he gets the gold from his teammates uh, to actually help him upgrade these. And of course, with the advantages that he's uh, getting Niter over here, it's um, he's uh, from a Speedy. He's gonna get frigates. Now, uh, Lithox, I did start up uh, on his uh, Niter generation, and I do see he has a Niter tile that he needs to improve in the city of Cuenca and I do see him of course uh, going for the Forbidden City coming up from Quito. Uh, industrial Zone logistic projects coming up from him as well. He definitely wants Isodor of Miletus and he's probably going to get it. Isodor is going to give him uh, the ability to actually put the work in um, Forbidden City to make it much much faster. Uh, opening up an extra wildcard policy slot that he's going to get to use. Forum Ministry coming up in Bogota. A few uh, galleys to the north here and it looks like uh, University is coming up from Brussels. Mapuche not giving up on the offense of uh, Khmer, while uh, I do see uh, quite a few Macedonian units did get damaged considerably. Uh, he does need to get the crossbow on the front line, so he helps him out uh, deal the final uh, damage on uh, Khmer. And yes, Khmer, uh, well, he did put everything he had into this attack, and now uh, he's managed to uh, managing to actually do a lot of damage against the Macedonian units, will, which will need to be replenished. And uh, there are, um, well, two cities on each side that can pump out units, there's just uh, much more Comedian units on the battlefield than they are at the moment on um, Macedon. Abudu uh, Kaga, hello there, sir, and welcome, welcome. We do have uh, settlers coming up from Vimayapura, settlers coming up from Angor Tom. Uh, looks like Ashia is going to try to get out of his uh, irrelevant position somehow, even though it's kind of late in the game to actually do that. Uh, um, he does need to guarantee the success against uh, Macedon, and he does need to guarantee the um, uh, safety of his settlers. Uh, we do need to see if uh, Mongolia is also going to start pushing into um, Apul. Uh, we still have a few spearmen uh, not upgraded over here to the east of uh, Wirimapu, while of course with the technology available for him to upgrade, he just needs the gold. Uh, still no attacks coming from Novak, if uh, I would have to uh, point out, uh, he does need to actually attack into the units uh, on the seas, on the corners of, his, of the wall of uh, units that Greece put out, so uh, this would be the most um, um, likely target, yes, that's, that's the correct way, the most likely target, this one, over here, and, uh, well, to be honest, Greece should just keep on building a line. Keep on building a line. What do you do? Build a line. Well, it looks like at the moment Alpha G did move his boats to the southeast. Does only have uh, five of these uh, caravels upgraded with a core, which is gonna well with a fleet, which is gonna help him out um, immensely. He does have also an upgrade for that caravel fleet, which will give him the plus seven envelope promotion. Does massive amounts of damage against the Scythian boats, and I do see um, Scythia is uh, still waiting to get those quadrims out of his cities, and then he's probably gonna go on the offense against somebody. Still not moving. Still not moving. I'm a bit surprised. Did he? Yeah, he had full movement. I'm a bit surprised of this. Industrial power spread will reduce when the PCS will have it to uh, 250 production. Yeah, 250 production, man. It's incredible. On Lithox is just uh, showing up big over here. Getting his uh, also uh, science capabilities up. We do have him on 155 science for 69 culture. Uh, it's a big, very big question. How is he going to approach the next part of the game? Uh, he's uh, definitely going to get Isodor of Miletus over here. Finishing up a project next turn in uh, Maracaibo. While uh, he's uh, building up his um, library count. He's going to get to use... Um, Isodor of Miletus to build the Forbidden City while we still have uh, the trading of units uh, coming up over here between Pella and um, Hashkey's Angor Tom. Uh, we gotta see if uh, he's gonna be successful. I still believe a few more a few more of these, like two more crossbows would be um, just enough uh, to take down the Cumerian armies. He's doing massive amounts of damage with these units. Massive. Just uh, look at that. A third of the strength of the swordsman just taken out in one shot. 
same can be said about uh, crossbow uh, sorry horses and i think uh, hashki realizes he's in uh, danger he's repositioning his units uh, to uh, force this but this is not a good this is not a good position like the only good position for his armies is probably behind the defenses of matterhorn and vimayapura where he initially won the war Okay, any moves? We got some moves. Novak is uh, slowly repositioning his uh, caravels and he will need to go against this one. What is his animal? Oh, his animal is not touching the, the northern boat. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'm pretty sure he's a little bit afraid uh, to attack into the Greek units and uh, start to uh, trade units uh, he doesn't have the capabilities of uh, replenishing the northern side as well as the west side and if uh, and he sees uh, france is uh, starting to put a little bit of pressure on him uh, from the west uh, he just needs to get out of there with the galley and of course uh, repositioning his caravels to attack into his opponent i'm pretty sure he's also waiting for square rigging we got jeru next and getting square rigging while in the army tab uh, we do have already have a uh, speedy making uh, or uh, having 15 uh, night in the I'll say in his uh, territory while on the other side we got only four on Lithoxa and uh, he's not building a builder man he definitely needs to get the build, uh, builder for the nighter come on man get the nighter are they not communicating this really might be a problem of uh, miscommunication if I have to say if I have to guess not say if I have to guess it's a problem with miscommunication or lack of communication not miscommunication a lack of communication uh horse balls yes uh well he can't tax his uh, micro by initiating on the greek for front uh, oh you mean uh, oh 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 we got greece actually pushing into him oh my oh my oh my oh my okay there's an ability that uh, Scythia does have uh, against his opponent and if he does manage to guarantee attacks uh, and uh, takeovers of uh, the Greek caravels, uh, the thing is uh, it, it, his boats are going to get heals up. 2, 4, 6, 8. Did two of them just die? 2, 4, 6, 7 over here on uh, Greece. I think two of the boats of uh, Scythia died. Didn't, didn't we have like 10 boats? I think I counted them and there were like 10 boats. Is there not, no boat over here with enough movement? This one. But this one doesn't get to attack anybody. Okay. It's uh, too far away. Boat fight! Boat fight! Yes. Yes. Uh, Greek animal sent away. Yeah, I don't see a Greek animal anymore. It's here. Yes. Ferdinand Magellan. Yep, you're correct. Uh, Pink. Good evening, sir. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this is going to play out. So, this one can attack this one take take it down uh, there are uh, two more boats that should die but they're not dying okay first moves uh, coming in jeru you know, did manage to get the upper hand over there and looks like uh, his embolon uh, died while we do have uh, the Scythian uh, caravels uh, repositioning, it looks like uh, that caravel oh so close so close but it didn't it didn't die uh, we do have uh, Jeru's uh, caravels also taking a lot of damage on return. Now that uh, he did reposition his admiral on the front line again, he's uh, going to get um, a little bit closer to his opponent boats. You can actually see uh, there is another caravel that uh, should actually die here. But he's, uh, he's wary of this. He doesn't know about the caravels in uh, Kabul, but Jeru can actually deploy those caravels quite quickly uh, to take out any Scythian uh, unit that is uh, going to deal the damage. And uh, you look at that, the Saka horse actually is scratching these caravels, so the extra plus five uh, gets activated. What happening with the west side? So, okay, looks like uh, Alpha G is not going to do anything here. He's just waiting. Uh, we do have another wave of boats uh, coming up from Greece. Uh, five uh, possible caravels upgrades. And he's building up a uh, connection city to the west uh, of his uh, capital, of Sparta, which will allow him to actually couple his um, western navy with the French navy. It looks like um, we do have uh, quite a few also pre-builds, quadrant pre-builds in the cities of uh, Koke Kota of Mongolia. Uh, and uh, Keshex are actually starting to run around the... Uh, 
the French capital to try to save him. Oh my god, he got pillaged. One, two, three tiles got pillaged over here. Malon Raiders probably, uh, well, had their way. Wow, Khmer settling in the face of Macedon. And looks like Macedon is starting to produce knights and not actually going for uh, more crossbows. Interesting. I'm very curious why I see uh, prioritizing knights over uh, crossbows. You've seen the damage. The crossbows definitely would have helped him out. And uh, I'm pretty sure the Etaris were more than enough to actually deal the final damage against these units. Yeah, anyway, he has enough. He has uh, enough knights on. Let's see. Come on, please, please get like two more, two more crossbows, and that's it. Two more crossbows, and you can build whatever you want. Uh, Alex to city challenge, yes. Also, probably he make uh, healing easier. Okay. Okay. Well, that actually survived. Okay. This uh, this boat should die. Oh no. We got, uh, we got the trades going and it looks like uh, slowly the number of on both sides is dwindling with Jerus frigates uh, coming on the battlefield. Uh, he's going to have a significant advantage over Scythia. Uh, we do need to see if uh, the boats, the caravels of Novak are actually going to uh, come on top here. I don't know what this guy is doing. Where, where did this guy come from? What, what is he doing here? He definitely should be on the front line helping out his buddy buddies. This guy went on a trip, guys. This, Oh my god, he's searching for Haiti. Oh no, for Hawaii. He's going to Hawaii. Okay, well, I mean, at the moment, Jeru is going to upgrade uh, his uh, next wave of boats, and uh, there are no more um, uh, pre-builds of uh, caravels over here uh, next to Comstrom Sky. Uh, I do see uh, Nova getting a few of these uh, quadrims upgraded into frigates, but it's going to take him at least uh, three to four turns uh, to actually get onto the front line, which uh, might be a bit too long for him uh, to guarantee success. Oh, he definitely needs to kill. Oh, he can't. He can't anymore. He could have killed it, but he can't anymore. Like, another uh, support bonus got added, and that uh, caravel is going to survive. Anyway, now we do have uh, Grand Columbia starting to convert his uh, cities. Uh, looks like, um, yes, Isidore is uh, going to help out with uh, Forbidden City over here. It's just uh, three turns away from finishing, uh, trying to get uh, Kilvaki Sivani. Uh, in the game, we still have Namadol with Vilnius and Mohenio Daro available for them. Novak uh, does benefit from Namadol over there. One of the reasons he did manage to get a decent amount of uh, culture. Uh, Venice is um, also being helped by Alpha G. I believe Venice, what, what, what was Venice? Venice, Venice, Venice. Oh, no? What, what is Venice? Here. Oh, here. Okay, here. We got Auckland on Alpha G as well, uh, getting that extra, uh, those extra production points uh, coming up on uh, France. Yeah, there we go. We got them on France. I think uh, the city and boats are dead, so, to be honest. Yeah, okay, some heals. Some, uh, oh, that's a dead frigate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the, like all of those, all of these boats should be dead next turn. If he doesn't shift enter away, they should be dead. Where's the other frigate? Oh, didn't the caravel? Did it actually come in? Oh, oh well, it is what it is. He definitely needs to shift enter away to get the upgrades going. And uh, really upgrade this squad. And the lack of Niter is uh, making a significant difference over here. It looks like uh, we do have the April over here with six Niter. Novak is one. Uh, is Toxis on one. And finally, he upgraded his Niter tile after uh, quite a few turns. He does have a uh, few galleys also to upgrade into uh, Caravels if he needs to. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, we do have Lithoxis um, uh, with the ability to actually upgrade them uh, into Caravels. Lithoxis is also one turning away, one turn away from square rigging with uh, 240 signs. Oh my god, he's all about to make more science than the enemy team combined. 312 production. We do have him uh, converting his city sensor to Buddhism. Uh, you do see Zen meditation and stewardship. He's going to get more science from his campuses, more gold from his commercials. And I do see he's uh, getting his uh, next wave of uh, universities getting built over here. Now, who did manage to get Hypatia? Did anybody get Hypatia? Uh, yes, we did have actually Mongolia getting Hypatia. It looks like Marco Polo did get recruited by Colombia, and I do see... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, he did actually get a holy set somewhere? Wow, he actually got a holy set from Kali. Okay, interesting. Anyway, 
Uh, he did finish uh, Forbidden City and now he's gonna get an extra wildcard policy slot to use and looks like he's using Republican Legacy. He doesn't, that means he doesn't actually have, uh, or does he? Wait, does he have? No, he, do he doesn't have um, Oligarchy Legacy. I don't know. Oh, oh, never mind. Merchant was the other one. I don't know why. For some reason, I confused the two. It is what it is. Is he building Potala? Uh, who? I, I didn't see Potala anywhere. Uh, Columbia carry does look like Columbia is carrying over here and uh, looks like also Xifi is uh, managing to punch through the defenses of uh, Khmer. He just needs... Oh man, I, um, I keep saying this. He needs two more crossbows. <laughs> Come on, man. Two more crossbows, man. Two more crossbows, please. Two crossbows. Like chop one from Methone, chop one from Pella and that's it. You know, you're going to be happy. I am telling you, you are going to be so happy. Happy, happy, happy. We do have Alpha G with 134 science and 51 uh, culture, still on 5 series. He's trying to go as tall as possible. Looks like um, Mapuche did plug the chokes as much as possible with his men at arms. Uh, and the uh, Pikeman, he's uh, keeping up a defense against Mongolia. Uh, Mongolia is also trying to sim behind all of this, uh, getting more settlers going and even putting cities in the Tundra, which is very, very surprising. Um, I would have thought he's at least going to put another city to the north of uh, Kokekota while he can uh, settle the. His, eastern coast he could have even gotten the city over here to the southwest of Ulaanbaatar definitely much better than uh, a Tundra city maybe he got this uh, only for Era Square even though I doubt it okay mm hmm yield tab hash key total tab let's see 700 science cp and we got uh, about 500 science on hash key 813 culture points while the is on 791 um, Colorado, Bura Sera Domnule, uh, who's winning? That's a good question. We don't know yet. We got Litoxa here with a very big advantage when it comes to the science and the culture. He's 266 and the 92 culture, while uh, on the other side, uh, you do see... Um, we only have Alpha G on with 134 and he's in a free inquiry. Or actually, both of them are free inquiry golden age. And we got Immortals after this is going to disappear. Now uh, we do need to see if Macedon is going to manage to uh, get this going. Looks like he's trying to get a set. Why is he building a settler? Is this safety settler? Wait, oh, come on, Xifi. Come on, man. Crossbows, bro. Crossbows. Like, just... No. Crossbows. Two crossbows. And that's it. Two crossbows. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Connection City from Corinth. Uh, possible Navy coming around. And by the looks of it, uh, yes, the city and Caravos did get to move back. Uh, he does have... Uh, no, get it out. Okay, there we go. He got it safely out. Uh, we do have a few frigates also coming to help uh, with uh, Caravos. He can uh, hard build Caravos. And looks like he's uh, bringing quite a few of them from his main cities. Uh, with uh, his ability to actually use the Press Gangs card now, he's uh, getting this uh, going. He does have more city production... Uh, more cities to produce on the eastern coast than uh, his opponent uh, one two three four F, uh, cities that can uh, produce units i'm pretty sure he can use a uh, soloka as well to put a harbor uh, to the southeast over there and well uh, he should have thought of this before he put the commercials down though uh he's uh, deploying his fleet to the west side a little bit further than the city center to uh, be able to build a wall and of course alpha g's uh carefuls are just sitting over there uh, trying to uh, keep uh Keep the borders intact. Oh, another Malon Raider getting into the land of his opponent, France, and uh, trying to pillage these uh, tiles. He's going to get another wave of pillages. And I'm on test for Terracotta Army to finish. And, uh, of course, uh, we do have Alpha G trying to go for industrialization. While it talks, uh, is going to finish it in one turn. He's going to get an extra point of production. On Oh, never mind. He just finished it anyway. He finished it. One, five tiles. Bam. Two, four times. Bam. We got this also exploration coming up in uh, one. And by the looks of it, he's uh, still not upgrading these boats. In the gold tab over here, we do have this. Oh, my God. 295 gold per turn coming up from Lithoxa, man. Man, Lithoxa, I think hard carry. Very hard carry. Oh, he's so hard. Hard carry, man. Uh, spy coming up from Bogota. We do have uh, factories going into his... Um, uh, industrial zones. Uh, Colombia is building. Yes, he's building uh, Kilva. Brussels. He's building it from Brussels. Uh, can you please show the vision on Colombian land of PCS? Uh, Colombian land of PCS. Uh, wait, what? Oh, they don't know. Uh, yeah, they don't know. They don't know. They just saw a little bit from Popayan and uh, they saw Brussels. That's it. They don't know anything. They don't know nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing.
Uh, SPA has 400 gold per turn versus 160 on uh, PCS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lingapura got taken back and looks like HK lost the city that he placed over there. Couldn't defend it. Uh, we do need to see uh, Xiphi's Knights uh, keep on pushing towards uh, the Khmerian city of Vimayapura while uh, the Khmer made a major uh, mistake over here. He actually chopped that forest that um, was keeping the... Uh, siege units from attacking to Vimayapura. Now it's going to be much, much easier for uh, Macedon to take the city of Vimayapura back. With, of course, uh, the trebuchets um, dealing massive amounts of damage against the city's uh, defenses. We do have another settler coming around here, which uh, might actually get to settle somewhere in the south or the west. I'm actually curious. But anyway, we'll see. Now uh, let's see. Boats, boats, boats. Uh, deploy the CCM fleet to the north. We do have one, two, three, four, five of these uh, frigates uh, from the northern uh, Greek fleet. Uh, while of course we do only have uh, two frigates, three frigates available for uh, Scythia to use. He's bringing up uh, more of these caravels to fight, and I do see uh, privateers coming around as well. Now uh, he's still doing quite a bit of damage against the Greek units, but uh, taking a lot on return as well. These caravels of Greece did get the emblem promotion on uh, on them, and that means um, an extra plus seven is going to be appear over there on their uh, damage counters uh, again he needs to nibble on the um, on the corner of his opponent's fleet uh, to try to take it down he's, he's kind of wary of attacking right now especially with the low count of frigates it does uh, i i think ideally would require at least uh, an equal number of frigates if he wants to uh, do that uh we do have uh, Novak with 154 production, while um, Jeru is on 110, uh, and especially the, the fact that the production capabilities of Scythia are mostly located on the coast instead of um, on the coast outside in this uh, ocean, instead of uh, Greece uh, using it on the east side. Well, that is going to uh, matter quite a bit. I do notice, of course, with the opening of the Greek uh, city of Corinth, uh, he can actually output these boats to the west side uh, from the inner bay that he is right now. So that will uh, allow him to use his full production capabilities to um, uh, get a bigger fleet. Uh, Scythia did manage to uh, also get a significant amount of boats over here to the west side. And uh, of course, he's going to try to focus down the Greek units uh, from the north first and then go to the east. Uh, I'm actually quite curious if Gran Colombia is uh, going to try to go for, uh, yeah, his scientific theory coming up over here. He definitely needs to go for uh, steam power, but he does need scientific theory for it. And of course, uh, it's uh, two turns away from finishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Civil engineering coming up in two turns. We do have the next World Congress uh, in six. That means uh, we're coming up on the next era in five. And uh, I do see more industrial zones are being put from uh, Lithoxa. I'm actually quite surprised we don't see Lithoxa at least like get two characters. Two caravels, one frigate, take out Angor Tom. Like this, if if they do manage to take out a player of their opponents, this will be extremely significant in the game uh, matchup because one of the opposing players will lose a military alliance and it will matter so much. And this is like such a low investment over here. Like two galleys and upgrades into caravels would be 180 gold with, uh, what, 60 from a frigate? I, I believe it's 60, right, with the half cost card? Uh, those helicopters don't look too far off now. Yeah, they don't, man. They don't. Oh, no. He's moving away to gunpowder. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, we do need to see how Speedy is going to try to play this against his opponent. Looks like uh, these uh, pikemen are actually doing quite a bit of a defense over here against him. And the uh, Keshiks are just not punching through them uh, as fast as he would like. Now, it looks like Keshiks did get placed to the west of Ulaanbaatar, finally. And uh, he is uh, going to try to build up some commercials over there. And we got the uh, Mapuche Mano Raiders from the south of that city center. Uh, they are going to try to get into the main cities of main tiles of Mongolia to try to pillage as much as possible. And the uh, rip the benefits of his opponent's lands i think that if a mongolia attacked instead of uh, trying to sim this would be much better yes i think so too i think this uh, would have been much better i i find it unlikely that uh, he's gonna well i guess we're gonna see the next part you know we're, we're gonna see the next part they made their choice, so now we're going to see the next part. But I, I tend to agree. Uh, and I don't think it was only, you know, it's sure, it was for our benefits as well that we would have seen those Keshik just running around everywhere, uh, trying to shoot down units, uh, especially against uh, his opponent over here, um, Mapuche. But at the same time, I feel like uh, this would have been very important for PCS also. Okay. Hello, Trebuche? Why didn't you attack, Trebuche? Monsieur Trebuchet, why didn't you attack? Well, I guess he's going to reposition it here. 
he probably got worried of not losing it in between the four shots of the encampment. I don't know if Gardner Victor is actually getting the double shots, but I've seen quite a few arrows fly against this one night. Uh, France is afraid to push Scythia. Yes, he is. But now Scythia is coming in to fight France over here. He's not afraid. Look at Lovac uh, put those units, uh, trying to make a screen of... Um, uh, or a semicircle of, of cannibals in the front line with uh, frigates right behind them. So if uh, any boat is going to try to go against the Scythian cannibals, they're going to meet the might of the frigate cannonballs. Okay, one, two, three, four. Still four. Uh, not as many as I would like. But uh, to be honest, if uh, the cannibals of Scythia start to go in into the frigate line, they're dead. Like, these frigates don't actually have uh, damage on them. That's why they're stronger. Uh, the second the, cat, uh, the frigate gets uh, weak a little bit. Oh my... Uh, attack! Attack! Now it's the moment! Attack! He lost the one. Oh, oh my god, man. You gotta go. You gotta go, man. Okay, there we go. He got one. Get another one. Get it! Get it! Anyway... Uh, Scythia Irel 2? Well, Scythia does have 122 science for 69 uh, culture. I wouldn't call it Irel at the moment. Uh, Jeru is Irel. 88 science for 65 culture. 106 production. Not that much, man. Not that much. Wait, what's that uh, little dance over there? It's from Penny. Who's Penny? Oh, that's a squall dance. Woohoo! Let's go! Yeah, look, look at that. Penny Potato. Wait. What? Penny Potato. What, what is Penny Potato? Who is Penny Potato? Aha! Uh -huh. I see. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like the emote, man. 106 points is much better than PCS. Yes. Yes. And uh, again, these boats of Lithoxa are just waiting for ironclads upgrades. The Lithoxa is one turn away from Steam Power and he's going to get that going. We do have Phoenician Arsenal also coming up over here. And uh, with uh, Lithoxa's ability to actually get um, uh, get to use so much of the production of Phoenician Arsenal to build a navy over here, he just needs uh, to rely on uh, Scythia to actually do the initial defense and then BAM! Just come in and take over. That's it. Uh, we do have only two frigates available for uh, France to defend himself here. That's uh, not enough. Not enough, I gotta say. Not enough. And it, it looks like uh, France did manage to punch through a little bit. And uh, where, where are the next? Oh my god, he's sending them somewhere else. No, send them to the north. Novak, upgrade, upgrade. You need like frigates, man. You need like f four more frigates over here. This one needs to be changed, it needs to be replaced with a full strength one. Is Venetian also in BBG the same? In no, no, they actually lowered it to like what 75% uh, production instead of 100. And uh, in the base game, I believe it gives you like double units whenever you uh, make a unit, you get double units. Uh, in the in this, it, it was initially at 100% production towards all naval units in all cities and then got changed to 75%. Yeah, Okay, okay, now Scythia is uh, pushing against uh, Greece, slowly, slowly uh, pushing him back. Uh, I, I gotta also point out, uh, Greece doesn't have any more pre uh, only one single quadrim over here. Argos is gonna get the uh, caravels, uh, Kabul is gonna get caravels, and uh, then we do have uh, Novak over here with uh, quite a few opportunities to attack into these weaker boats, and uh, he is doing just that, taking one down, uh, moving forward to the north, uh, he does have uh, more of these uh, frigates available for him uh, the frigates of greece are not uh, damaged yet so we don't see the full damage there uh, the full extent of the, the damage but oh my god I, I don't think novak actually has first moves and he's uh, actually losing quite a bit because of that he just lost two boats because he just couldn't uh, pressure his opponent good enough uh, like uh, click on buttons fast enough promote okay there we go Okay, that's another boat down, so 2 for 2 trade right now. But I think uh, CTA is still ahead in the trades. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. Okay, that, that at least that worked. At least that worked. 
Uh, we do have uh, two more canvas ready to upgrade from Con uh, ready to move from Kontroskaya, and of course, the Toxa does have the ability to get these caravans upgraded. Uh, looks like he's also using uh, James of St. George to build up the wall count while uh, Emotep is moving towards uh, Popayan to upgrade that uh, Venetian answer. Vimaya Pora is going down. The walls have been taken down. We do have the crossbows uh, getting in with the help of the trebuchet. He's doing quite a bit of damage. He's starting to uh, position to the south here and uh, would love to actually see what's going to happen afterwards if they do manage to go into a four versus three situation that's going to be extremely problematic for their opponents now we do have um in the era score screen, Hashke going for a dark case, Piri going dark, Alfie and G going dark, Jeru going dark, while Ethoxa is one point away from getting his golden. We do have him uh, getting industrial zone logistic projects, and uh, let's actually see great people. He needs like three projects, that's not gonna happen. Uh, it's two turns away from finishing, he just needs one point, and uh, well, oh, wait, oh, Harbor Shipping, Industrial Zone, Industrial Zone, Industrial Zone. Oh, he, he has three projects. Four projects. He's getting four projects. Okay, he's getting D. Uh, he's a great engineer over here. He's he gonna get it. He got. Oh, oh, hello, Monsieur. I'm glad. Oh, look at that, man. I'm glad. 84 strength. That's before the promotion. And it looks like uh, Novak over here is uh, trying to get some advantages, trying to take down one of the caravels. But no, Novak actually had enough uh, strength available for that caravel to attack back. And Greece right now is in danger of losing his Eastern Coast series. While uh, in the main screen over here, it does look like uh, Novak uh, does have a significant problem. He didn't really supply in the Navy to the Northwest, defending against the Greek, uh, the, the French and the Greeks. Uh, and now uh, he's uh, going to need to put all of that production to work over here on the western side does have uh, multiple frigates that could uh, help out with this but he did not deploy them fast enough he was uh, more concerned about the um uh, Greek Navy, then he was uh, to the south about uh, France. I do have to uh, point out, uh, France is on 150 science with a 48 culture. That is a little bit higher than his uh, production capabilities. Uh, oh, sorry, than, than his stats on the production capabilities. We do have Novak a little bit higher. Now, uh, looks like uh, Speedy 146 production is not scaling well with uh, not that many cities. Uh, he didn't uh, want to use his uh, Keshek timing against his opponent here, and that actually flew off the screen, which, of course, uh, allowed Mapuche just to keep on seeming got to 100 two science and 50 culture of his own 126 production he's putting down more commercials uh, to get those trade routes going and uh, building up his library count uh vimaya pura might actually go down next then we do have uh, the trebuchet that keeps on working on getting it down while uh, more knights are arriving from the cities of uh, macedon we do have a line of uh, spearmen also being deployed from hash king he's seven turns out man he just doesn't have the science seven science 18 culture uh seven turns out uh-oh. Whoa. One second. Uh, oh, one sec. Let me actually move the screen here. No, oh, it looks like uh, somehow. Oh, there we go. Like the, the boats of Greece are disappearing. Only uh, four of them are available while uh, Scythia has uh, six. And another one moving from the south over here. Now, uh, where are the ironclads? Still no upgrades from the ironclads of Grand Colombia.
Okay, in two minutes, uh, finish an arsenal and uh, Grand Colombia is going to get that ability to uh, get those boats uh, going. It looks like there's a bit of a ruckus over there in between uh, Freritos and the uh, COC and uh, well, the screaming for referees and I was trying to figure out uh, who is available. Uh, yes, Heinrich Dave. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, they, uh, yes, man. Yes, I was. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm messaging them. I'm messaging them. And that's why I, I stopped for a little bit to actually understand what was going on with the issue to try to go through the lines over there. And uh, I believe uh, there is a referee on the way. Now we do have a uh, workshop coming up from uh, Bogota. Looks like a uh, factory is coming up from Quito. Uh, Oxford University is from Maracaibo. Six turns out, so he gets uh, more science going. Lithox at 279 science. Uh, he did lose his free inquiry golden age, but still retained a lot of that advantage he had against his opponents. And uh, by the looks of it in the era score screen here, uh, looked like a dark age on all uh, civilizations of uh, PCS. While we do have SPA on uh, golden age on Lithoxa, and that's about it. Dark age on every uh, everybody else. Oh my god, Scythian Dark Age over here. Well, he's uh, he's gonna do it. Uh, we do have uh, the, uh, also Congress coming up uh, next time. And um, we're gonna have a quick pause uh, for it. Two minutes as a pause until we vote. And then we're gonna come back to take a look at uh, what's going on here. I'm gonna go for uh, gold. I think they're gonna go production, to be honest, rather than gold. Um, breach time. No dams have been built. Uh, okay. Okay, give it back just a minute. Yeah. Though its face may change throughout the ages, history is written from the hand of the victor. By your actions this day, you ensure our people a glorious tomorrow. The one who won, who got the GG. Alpha G calls out the GG. Oh my God! Come on, man. Production Congress over here showing up big for them. Uh, looks like Alpha G on uh, PCS called out the GG. It is what it is, man. PCS had a very nice try over here, but Khmer was dying, and at the same time, Gorgo was about to lose series over here, at least two of them, Kabul and Argos, uh, while I believe on the west side, uh, Scythia would have uh, gotten to reinforce all of the fleets on the west to fight out uh, France, and of course, we would have had uh, Grand Columbia coming up with so many things. GG, exactly, man. GG, whoa. Uh, wow. Let's actually uh, jump into the comms. Um, well, uh, I do want to make a little disclaimer. Uh, we do have, um, I want to say, two French teams that are going to talk in French a lot uh, more than they're going to talk in English. But uh, yeah, maybe we're going to get some questions in English. Let me actually find out where the channel is so we can jump in and see what's going on. Uh, not this one. Uh, this one. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. Do I have the correct settings? Let me see. Uh, yes, I have the correct settings. 
le, mon serveur, j'ai fait « Oh, il me le faut <rire> ma, ma, ma cap, ma, j'ai stole T2 en crossant la rivière, je pense que c'est... En vrai, il y a, y a eu bien 60 tours de, de, de combat là, hein, très intense. Mais je pense que j'ai stole T1, je suis premier sur le mon serveur, c'est terrible. Ah, je pense, ouais, je pense que tu arrives plus vite, ouais. GG Après, euh, je l'ai eu assez vite au final, euh, le mon serveur aussi. Ouais, mais moi, en fait, euh, j'aurais pu te bloquer, mon colon était déjà en route aussi. Hein. Bah, en okay. fait, je pense que c'est celui qui avait fait les éblouis en premier. Mais je Après, pense que j'aurais dû rush plat, donc je pense qu'il avance avant, quoi. Non, bah, en fait, t'as mis la ville un tour avant qu'il pouvait la, la, mettre la sienne. Donc, euh, s'il y avait cet old T1 au début, euh, ça l'aurait joué au B. Ok. Oui, donc, je l'aurais eu, quoi. <rire> Clairement. Non mais je pense, je pense, ouais, là c'est le front. Je pense qu'en vrai, si tu partais poney, Alexandre, tu te baisais la game parce que tu pouvais pas, t'allais jamais toucher les, les, enfin t'allais te baiser ton, tes bonus de science qui ont fait que là tu rasais le, tu le rasais. Ouais, en fait. Non, non, il était poney, mort. Ouais. En fait, si je partais poney, il était, il était, était mort. Euh, je pense pas. Hein. Je pense pas. Je pense pas. Bah mec, avant d'avoir les poney, j'ai fait, j'ai fait, euh... fait la moitié de travail du bronze avec Spatius Miller. Hein. Et ouais, moi mais j'ai tout au petit, travail du bronze, je l'ai fait euh, tout au petit, poney pareil. Euh, archer pareil. Non, archer c'est moi qui l'ai fait, j'ai recharté. Tu as fait archer oui, okay. pas n'importe quoi. Et en fait, à la base, oh, je, voulais faire le setup, euh, je voulais faire le setup classique triple campement et tout. Puis on n'avait pas les golds pour acheter les ouais. cases de campement. Du coup, je fais bon. Ah, ouais, bah, t'avais euh, pas des cases évidentes, ouais. Je fais bon, vas-y, je go poney. Non, mais je m'en battais les couilles de les poser, je les poser n'importe où, juste, je pouvais pas les poser, tu vois. Mm. Et euh, je fais vas-y, je fais juste des unités et en espérant que j'arrive à enfoncer l'adpo, sinon, euh, bah. Mec, j'ai Victor qui rien faire de ma game. Ouais, je sais, je sais, je sais. 4 pour 4. Ouais, parce que euh, chef de garnison meurtrière et logistique défensive. Ah, okay. Parce qu'à un moment donné, c'était un peu chaud. En non, fait, mais en vrai, non, il est trop mal placé. C'est une giga erreur de ma, de ma part, ça. Le mais campement est trop mal placé. Je pense que ta ville. Ah non, tu pouvais pas la placer une case. Euh... En fait, euh, il aurait fallu que je le pose sur le riz, mais j'avais pas encore la tech pour enlever le riz. Et du coup, je me suis dit, il faut vite que je le pose parce qu'il me faut un général, quoi. Moi, ouais, je pense que si tu le poses pas, t'as pas le général. Ouais. Et je suis mort du coup. Mais du coup en fait le, le, le campement t'a permis tu as one turn, en fait. de passer. Non j'ai fait un chop. Oui mais tu l'as one turn, oui. t'as fait un chop. Euh, ouais c'est ça. Mais il y a eu un tour plus un, donc en vrai c'est deux tours. Il y a eu ouais, un tour de prendre normal ouais, plus un chop. Tu l'as posé en D5 non Euh non, même pas. Je pense pas. Hein. En vrai je sais pas. Je serais incapable de te dire. Non je pense ouais. pas. Et vous voulez pas essayer de pousser sur le naval de ce côté Ben en fait, euh, en fait c'est ce que moi j'ai dit à la fin de la game, et, et je l'ai dit dans la game aussi, c'est en vrai, les gars, j'ai un plus 9 sur lui, laissez-moi up, je défonce la... Je le défonce en fait. Et, pers et en fait, euh, Giro a dit non, non, il faut, il faut me défendre, et alors en fait, on, oh, on, on a... On a partagé les gold en deux, et je pense que c'était là l'erreur, parce que si la France, il go, il déchire. Hein. Oui, je te déchire. Genre, euh, genre, 9, dis pas, euh... Je suis en victoire majeure, non, sans, pas, avec... Hein. Bah si, parce que j'ai un... Il a eu 4 unités autour de sa cara... Sa... Je prends sa, cara... sa caravelle avec 4 unités autour de lui, je suis oh, en victoire majeure. Plus c'est trop énorme pour en avaler. Je suis en, en, plus, en, en, en victoire euh... Tu voulais te défendre oui. de quoi, Speedy En fait, t'as pas plus 9, hein. Ah, mais moi, je voulais push ah, ça paraît non, mais non, mais je veux dire, euh, je veux dire, tour, tour Ah non, tour moi, moi j'étais là pour te casser. 45, les gueules, mais c'est tour 45, euh, tour 45, 5. Enfin, tour 45, j'ai Caravelle, tour 50, j'avais un, j'avais imprimerie. Au moment où j'ai imprimerie, j'ai un plus 9 sur toi, rien Et que euh, de. En, en gros, ce que je veux dire, c'est Géro qui aurait dû défendre juste chez lui oh, avec des, des galères et. Et à la fin, hop, tu vois. On aurait dû hop, toucher le français, bref, c'est une erreur. Je suis un peu claqué des fesses, j'avais genre 8 caravelles quand même dans ma ville, mais... mais, mais, euh, mais moi j'étais en, fait, en, je... en mode impossible de prendre les pauses, puis à un moment je fais, il vient pas, qu'est-ce qu'il fait et Juste j'avance progressivement. Et... Ah, parce qu'on a tout donné à Giro, et on n'aurait jamais dû faire ça. Bah c'est ça, ouais. Même avant, moi, moi. Que, euh, je pense qu'avec au moment où t'as la deux étoiles, tu touches Fregat euh, environ. Ah, ça je suis d'accord, tu aurais dû y aller avec au moins 4 pour le forcer. Et sur Salpêtre, enfin nous on n'a pas de Salpêtre, parce que... Ouais. On a, a Lotaro qui doit peut-être pitié et Xifi qui est Irel et derrière Lito il faisait euh, genre deux salpettes par tour tu vois. Comment, ah ça, je suis Comment ça je suis Irel Comment ça On prend une pause Xifi. Ouais. Comment ça moi j'ai les mousquettes là hein. Oui oui très bien. Euh, les gars les gars, maybe ouais. Michael if you have uh, one two question in English. Uh, yes. First of all, why didn't you remap? And uh, second of all, I would really know why Xifi, uh, how Xifi lost that uh, war over there at the beginning. <laughs> man, oh man. Wait. I mean, there were a few moves over there. That I, was, uh... I mean, I suicide like four or five units to take, to take the city. And it was like uh, one HP. And... 
Well, yeah, yeah, I know, but you also since, give, gave up on... We have, uh, since we have no gold, uh, I can't put encampment, we can't buy tiles, it's like uh, a bad early game. Okay. And, and uh, for the uh, no remap, uh, Ashka was saying we had to and uh, we didn't. And uh, maybe it's uh, the second time we do that in uh, this season. We uh, we don't listen to the... Uh, moi je pense que la map elle est giga fine pour nous, il y a HK qui est front certes, bah dommage. Moi je pense qu'elle est pas fine devant nous hein Speedy hein. Non, on a un trade. Toi dans ta tête tu voulais push mais t'as des one take choke en fait. Ouais bah en... Sorry c'est en anglais. Ouais mais je suis en game. I mean the advantage at turn 10 is not really clear but we have a naval traders, the position is alright. But, uh... Ouais mais as, as the map is very, uh, there is a lot of water, there is very, it's very easy to have a naval trade so it doesn't count here in the, we shouldn't, we shouldn't take it into, in, take it into account in our uh, remap uh, or not remap uh, reflection. We... We only we see CTR's just... position uh, late, later in the game and yeah. it's really important. So no, we, we had to we had to remap the, the last uh, game, uh, not the last game, but the last game I played uh, in this season, it was the same problem. We had uh, the Tari player who had to, to sim and he was in the front and he couldn't, so he lo we lose. It's uh, the same here. Ashka was supposed to uh, be the, the carry and he we have couldn't. We have so much, so many save wars, he's going to be front every time, no? It's like and, mm, no, we did some remap, find some uh, map uh, test, and sometimes it it appears that sometimes uh, it's not that uh, it's uh, it happened more than you think that uh, we can uh, have. A and by the way, you see, uh, uh, I can uh, I can uh, stay alive uh, in early game. But yeah, by but the way, uh, it costs gold, then it could. Um... Be, but uh, maybe sure regarding the Carvel push. To, to be oh. honest, you would have you kind of let was were let to be alive there because. Uh, but by the way, we we didn't. Uh, could have uh, taken uh, out a long time ago. We didn't saw the the four uh, Warmonger civilization. No, we didn't expect that uh, kind of. Um, uh, art. We didn't saw that. Expect this. Either. No. Not expect. Yeah. I mean, we. 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 After I I, I forced uh, first pick my push. And then, uh, and then, what, what did uh, we do? What, what do you mean? Because I wanted to play Tomeris. And then Zipi said, I want to play Alexandre. And then Lito, uh, and then we say, go, Lito go Colombia and we go Ouga Booga. <laughs> and, and <laughs> Lito was reading uh, the Civ bonus in a uh, giant uh, lane, by the way. J'ai cité Orancy. Qu'est-ce que fou ma team a joué cette draft de dégénéré? <rire> non, mais le, le vrai problème c'est qu'on a, on a personne en backlane carry en vrai parce qu'avec une draft comme la nôtre si on a quelqu'un en backlane carry ça va beaucoup beaucoup mieux Il hein. fallait, 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 laisser, fallait laisser sim le mongol pour qu'il fasse des, des, des kiffiques C'est ma faute, euh... c'est ma faute, j'ai pas fait mon bon plan de jeu, je suis en train de guerre Tu vois genre... Euh... Ouais, je pensais que... bien en stat en début de game, je me sentais vraiment bien, je pensais pouvoir quand même faire quelque chose et non Ouais, t'étais trop loin, t'étais trop loin. Mais t'étais ouais, pas trop loin, mais c'était chaud. Mmh. C'était chaud. Il y a des chauds. Ouais, ah, je sais pas, genre, j'ai vu ça. Ah, mais je veux dire. Parce que non, je me sentais bien. Ouais, ouais je sais pas, je me sentais bien. Je pense que ouais, bon. C'est deux bien. one tile chauds que ça c'est dur. C'est la dernière game, mec. C'est la dernière game de la saison Ouais. Ah oui Ouais, bon. Ouais, ouais. C'était la dernière game, ça On a fait combien, nous, les gars 3-3, je crois. J'ai une idée. Je sais pas combien. J'ai gagné la première game où je jouais Genghis. Mais non, vous avez fait. Si vous étiez en. Vous êtes fait 3-3 Ok, je vais arrêter ici parce que, bon, nous devons voir ce qui va se passer aussi dans les games et tout ça. Merci beaucoup à tous les gens pour votre soutien de la stream, pour les follow, pour les subs, pour les bits, pour tout. J'espère que nous allons voir demain aussi nous allons avoir une réception de uh, Initialement, j'ai eu l'in-game slot, mais j'ai senti que c'était juste beaucoup mieux de donner cette histoire à la streamer. Donc, je vais avoir cette réception de la cast là-bas, et je vais vous montrer ce que je vais faire dans le game. Easy, Katka, go 
against the Freitos de la Vega, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let me actually take a quick peek over here on uh, my stream. What, what is it? What is it? Upcoming games. Yeah, Easy Katka versus Freitos de la Vega. 1600 GMT on Friday. It's a little bit earlier than the stream was uh, normal, but I, I do believe uh, this is going to be quite a good game over here between... Uh, <clears throat> And the two teams and we're also gonna have on uh saturday black Peter and go against uh 12 plus at 1800 gmt and uh, on um sunday cps going against gold pine library uh that is gonna be quite a full weekend over here of uh amazing civilization 6 uh, gameplays i also i do want to point out oh it's so close uh, we got the three more subs to go on uh youtube uh, with a 29.97 right now three more subs and we're gonna get to three thousand woohoo let's go i've been waiting for this for quite some time now and i need to mark the moment uh thank you of course uh everybody that is uh coming up from uh, youtube and uh, if you do see this movie over there please also uh, throw it a thumbs up and uh, we're gonna see each other on the live stream on twitch.tv slash on sport tv uh don't forget to follow and subscribe and of course i do hope um, if you want to take a look at my uh, schedule you can uh, definitely figure it out over here on my discord it's going to mention my discord on uh, twitch chat or um uh, take a look at the description down below of the video on YouTube and you're going to find an invite link to uh, my Discord for uh, the upcoming games. Uh, or if you are looking for information from on the Civ 6 World Cup, it's just uh, very easy to go on the Civ 6 World Cup.com uh, website and uh, you're going to see over there every little bit of information you need about the casters, about uh, the games uh, that are being played on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, uh, past games and so on and so forth. Everything is over there. Now, the stats, the saves, the everything everything is over there uh, thank you so much everybody and let's see each other in the next one tomorrow 1600 gmt bye 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 Yes. Yeah.